We have video, and I think the audio is fixed. Welcome back, guys. Apologies. It totally... There is not an easy way to fix an issue with the sound card, unfortunately. Streamlabs does not talk well to the Elgato capture card, so it just totally freaks out the stream every time. Welcome, guys. We're back. We're back. We're doing things. It's going to be okay. I promise. I promise. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up one of the first giveaway codes for you guys. Since it's that time anyway... And it sucks that this stream is split in two pieces, but it is what it is now. All right. Hope you guys have fast fingers. <laughs> Much more better. Yes, I think it sounds way better. I think the crackling has been fixed, which is great. Unfortunately, I had to do that in the middle of the stream, which is the worst. Uh, okay. On the upside, uh, that did get me through most of my daily pursuit. Hey, yo, guys. Welcome. How's it going? Um, <laughs> okay, Sam says, hey, Gwana, much love. Much love to you as well. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, my goodness. But the stream settings have just been completely wrecked for everything. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can't fix it. Good Lord. Yeah, everything's just completely broken. It's great. It's great. I'll fix it later, I guess. <laughs> God, I hate it. Um, I think there's a way around that. It's just maybe not easily with Streamlabs. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I can do it with... Uh, it's, it's not easy because you have to use the same, like, stream key that you had before. And it just... It doesn't always work when you stop and restart the stream. It, it kind of freaks it out. Um, and Streamlabs doesn't really let you easily reconnect to it unfortunately uh that bye dude welcome how's it going hope you're having a great day man glad you were able to find the uh the youtube from all that okay Ooh. jackie says is everything okay yes jackie everything is fantastic i had some technical difficulties we're we're fixed now we should be all good mm -hmm. I'm basically surviving this area. Uh, I think I might go do a little bit of griffin hunting. Don't really care about the code. Just want to watch the stream. Well, you're you're at the actual stream now. I think the sound is better, so I think we'll be good for the rest of the time. Let's go ahead and uh, take care of some griffins. And then we'll come sit back over there when it's, like, dark. It's a long time to sit in one spot. I hate it. So it should be, like, ten minutes long. How do we copy and paste? Mango, uh, I couldn't tell you, man. That's uh, pretty much something you have to do from your device. Uh, Blue Parasaur, my day is going fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. Do appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Are we good to go? There we go. I think I've got everything sorted for the stream now. For the most part. Can you be my queen for my arc, please? Uh, Amali, I appreciate the thought, but uh, I'm pretty busy with my, my current arc games and the new series I just started recording, which I'm actually really excited about. It's been super fun so far. Hopefully the videos come out as, uh, as well as I'm thinking they will. Hopefully I don't run into any editing issues. That's always the hardest part for me. Is the editing uh all right let's see are there any griffins nearby that i can murderize i need a high level na griff and it's just been so brutal trying to find one it's been i've had the worst luck honestly with griffins <laughs> have not found any good ones finally tried to breed up griffins and uh i ended up with a mutation on a low level one which is just ridiculous um no you're terrible come here i need to kill you Murder! Come here. That didn't work at all. I'll just stand in one spot. Uh, the code for Arc Mobile, what do you do with it? Uh, so to enter the code, guys, you have to redeem it in-game. Uh, I believe they will work either on unofficial or official, but they have to be... Uh, they can only be used once, right? Mars, I was doing the daily, but it's boring to sit around for a whole half hour, so I'm gonna go kill some griffins and then go back. 
Uh, bye, Blue Parasaur. Thanks for hanging out. All right, Dino Wipe. Uh, Dino Wipes can't be done on unofficial servers, unfortunately. There's not really a way to do that unless I wipe the whole map. Raptor X reviews. Thank you. You're fantastic. Zoom cam. Use zoom cam. What do you mean, zoom cam? I'm confused. I don't like to use zoom cam. Zoom cam, not nice. Pink on the Griffin me, it looks like medium rare steak. A little. Can the code be redeemed on single player? I believe you can do that now. So I'll show you guys real quick. For everyone who's asking how to redeem a support code, guys, you go to your in-game options menu. Under extras on the left-hand side, you go all the way down to the bottom. It's a little hard to see because my webcam is in the way, but there's a button that says support codes on the very bottom. That one. Uh, you enter the code there, and then you can either redeem it in single player, or you can just redeem it by hitting accept in the server. That's what you got to do. Uh, they're only usable once, so you do have to be kind of quick, and they are good codes, guys. Um, they have... Come here. They're pretty good codes today. Uh, they have a top hat skin and a bandana collar, which is pretty fantastic, I'm not going to lie. They don't normally give us collars, so... I'm pretty stoked. That's a permanent reusable thing. <laughs> Do you have mutations? Ethan, I have a mutation on one of my griffins. Yes, I did get a mutation on a griffin. Someone's flying around. I see you. All right, must keep searching. Someday I'll find a high-level NA Griffin, and it will be the day of my dreams. Watch it have the worst stats ever. Oh, I'd cry. I might actually. I have been searching for a Griffin for, like, well over a week now. It's been, like, two weeks. Have not found a single NA Griffin over level 115. The lag, dude. Okay. Um... Your favorite dino from Ark Mobile Season 1, Quetzidia. Quetzidia is fantastic. I was very upset about trying to tame the first couple Quetzals. It didn't go well. Uh, this game died quick. You forgot it was a game. Um, three years in counting, Ghost, and it's still going, man. Maybe you forgot, but the rest of us haven't. And honestly, we're still enjoying it. Davian, how's it going? Welcome. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Do the devs want to add the chibi or mods? No, they can't add mods. Mods are not something they'll ever be able to add to the game just because of the way that um, Apple and Google kind of run their stores. Uh, they can't really give people access to the source code of the game to enable modding. It doesn't work that way. So uh, on top of that, um, the chibis, I don't think they have any plans for it. I don't think it's a very requested feature. Most people would rather have new dinos than chibis, uh, from what I understand, or a new map. If I had to choose, I would choose a new map over anything else. Final goal in ARC is to get a good Ascendant tech rifle. Hope next dungeon is a brutal one with a tech rifle. Oh, I hope next week is um, Blitz week, because I want to sleep in. <laughs> and then I can spend more time working on my new series, which I'm excited about. Where is my ARC series, Ziggy? Nagak, it's in, uh, it's in progress. I recorded two hours today. So there is a new series in the works, guys. So stay tuned for that. It should be a good time. It's going to be a little different than anything else I've done. Um, very different, in fact, than anything else I've done, which I think is why I'm excited about it and why I'm talking so much about it, even though it's not ready. It's a project in the works, but uh, the content is coming. That's a 135, but it's an RA. I hate my life. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> what should you bring to a dungeon? Uh, really good armor. At least two sets of really good armor. Um, probably a compound bow. A good compound bow. And then probably a good either shotgun or pump action shotgun. Uh, and one good melee weapon. Those are like the critical things to bring to any dungeon. Food and water as well, obviously, unless you have the, uh, the feast buff. Why aren't cryos a thing? Austin, because cryos are 
broken. Um, cryos are kind of a complicated feature that they added to PC, and they kind of broke caves, and they kind of broke PvP, right? So, like, if you can cryopod a dino and throw it out wherever, it makes raiding really, really easy, and uh, that's something that the devs really wanted to avoid, which I believe is one of the reasons that they did not add cryopods. They do have chronicling, which works essentially like a cryopod, except that you have to revive the creature at an actual revival platform. So you can still do that. Um, you can still do that when you're raiding if you set up a platform there, but it's going to be a little bit tougher. It's not going to be as easy to just like overwhelm someone with crazy strong tames. What type of device do I use? I have an iPhone 8 Plus and a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Is mobile my favorite platform for ARC? Yes, it is, Lucid. It is. I love PC ARC. PC ARC is where I started. Uh, but mobile is just... It's such a better game. Like, people don't give it enough credit, I think, because it's a mobile game. But as far as, like, actual gameplay goes, mobile is one of the... Mobile ARC is one of the best developed games I've ever seen. Um... They've just added a lot of little quality of life fixes to it that make it so much more enjoyable than the PC version in the long run. Like, the PC version can get super grindy and super frustrating really quick. Um, I don't get as frustrated with Arc Mobile as quickly, if it makes sense, because there's a lot more interesting elements. Um, I think a lot of the creatures are a little bit more fun, a little bit better. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, it's well done as a game. You got the top hat. Congratulations, Chris. Welcome. Super excited that you were able to get it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, there's another one. You trying to trap that one? I think so. Come here. You need to die. You're not good. All the griffins you see either have bad names or level. Am I right, Andre? Correct. Pretty much. It's hard to find one that's the right name and the right level. It just takes a lot of time. Will I do more PC arc? Amali, yes. Actually, I'm currently running. Um, so I don't know how many of you have ever watched Twitch or have ever been on Twitch. But I do have a Twitch that I stream on. And I'm currently doing a Scorched Earth playthrough on there. And it's uh, it's quite fun. Yeah, that's a 115 mail. Mm. 115 is not the worst level ever, but it's not good. I just want to kill the stego. Oh, well. The griffin will kill the stego. It'll be fine. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. If I can't find a griffin before it gets dark, uh, I'm going to head back over and we'll throw out another code while we wait for the daily pursuit to finish. I do need to do it, and I hate it, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll gather some uh, wood while I'm over here. Actually, do I have any? I should have a bundle on Trucker. I always have stuff on Trucker. Trucker carries everything. Ah, eh, 300's not very much. I can get more. Hey, Griffin! Hey, what are you? Oh, you're an NA, but you're only level 20. You need to die. He needs to die. <laughs> uh, you can't redeem codes on your single player, Miguel. Then you can log into any official server. Um, you don't have to do anything. Just log into like a random PVE official and try to redeem it there. Because uh, you can hit redeem in single player and it will send the code stuff to your active single player game. That is the thing. <laughs> Say us, but add a S. Us. That what you meant? Uh, Lucid, yeah, that's really the only reason, right? If mobile had all of the maps that PC has, I don't know that I would ever play PC again. Because <laughs> I feel like they would run so much better on mobile. The games would be better. Oh man, there's a lot of griffins out here. I saw one over there and there's one over there. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna go get this guy. He's loose! Hello. Must die. 
Mm -hmm. Giovanni, hello, how's it going? Uh, get a name change ticket? Toxic, why? I like my name. My name is Iguana. It needs to be that. You haven't watched my video streams in a long minute. Lazy Gacha, welcome. It has been a while. Super excited to see you back here. <laughs> Don't know how to copy the code. Mango, um, highlight it in the chat and copy it. Uh, there's a way to do it from your phone if you're watching on your phone, and there's a way to do it from your PC if you're watching from your PC. So it's just a copy-paste, or you can try just retyping it, but you're going to have to have lightning fingers. But I'd rather have either a level 1 of any tame you'd like, or a level 300 Compi. Probably the 300 Compi, actually. A level 300 Compi wouldn't be the worst thing ever. They're pretty good little defense units. Dorla. Dorlael. I don't even know. Funky name. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Wish the devs would add the tech cloning chamber into mobile. I don't. Um, honestly, the devs of mobile have already made the game really easy by giving us implants, right? Like, people who love their creatures play mobile because it's so much harder to lose your creature on mobile. You can just save the implant, right? Whereas, if you're playing on PC and your tame dies, they're just dead. Like, you don't get as attached to your tames on PC because you literally can't afford to. Because they just, if they die, they're dead forever. There's no getting those back. Um, and that's something I think a lot of mobile players don't really appreciate. Is that having a creature implant is super handy and super nice. It was a very kind thing that the devs did giving that to us. Alright, let's go do this. <laughs> when's the next code next code uh actually should be dropped now oh my gosh i think i'm gonna drop them every 20 minutes 20 minutes yeah so we should be about right my sense of time is all whacked out now no no wait four minutes four minutes and counting there we go i'll just drop them every 20 minutes according to my local clock i figured it out do I want to make a stream, but it's drop hunting? I mean, I could, but... That'd be kind of fun to do, like, a... How much amber can I get in one hour by drop hunting? Could do that, but I'd need a... I need a griffin, a max speed griffin to make that reasonable to a try. Uh, 300 compi over an iguanodon. I mean, a compi is just a miniature iguanodon, really been forever since you've got a stream. How have you been? Gamer guy, I've been fantastic. I hope you're having a fantastic day as well. <laughs> you love my vids and you love my PvE series. Thank you, Amali. I appreciate that. I work hard on them. <laughs> Land. Ooh. Is that any good? Alright, 185 damage, 1510. It's not the worst ever, but it definitely doesn't stack up to my 435, 4505 durability shotgun. Ah, uh, I could make it a server race event. That would be kind of fun, although then people would be competing over drops and it would be a bit of a mess. Uh, trampoline. The strong cave is the snow cave, the harder of the two snow caves. It's also called the Yeti cave. You can look it up on the ARC wiki, uh, which is what I would recommend. B36, Arc Mobile is way more simple. Uh, B36, I, I don't actually agree. Um, I think Arc Mobile has some things that make it quite a bit more complicated of a game, right? Like you have pursuits, uh, you have all of the regular items in the game, as well as all of the extra items that the devs added, which are mostly non-functional or, um, or decorative, but there are quite a few functional things like pheromones and collars and things like that, which serve a huge purpose in the game. Um, on top of that, you have all of the different complicated things for like Equus uh, power breeding, Dodo size breeding, the Royal Griffins have a whole set of rules that are very different and interesting as compared to PC. I think Arc Mobile, like if I was to compare PC Island versus Mobile, just the island, right? Like if I had a choice between the two, I would probably mostly play Arc Mobile because 
there's a little bit more to it. Um, it seems simpler, but it's it's actually not. It's a more complicated game, but it's actually more well done as well. Mm, even though you're missing a couple of the caves, those caves that you're missing are not necessarily all that interesting anyway. So it's fine. <laughs> and this way I get dungeons. Um, which are far more interesting than the PC boss fights. <laughs> Uh, would I like a meme in every YouTube stream? I mean, I'm in every YouTube stream that I do, so I kind of am a meme. It's a thing. What code is everyone talking about? Giovanni, uh, I am dropping giveaway codes today for a top hat skin, a bandana collar, and I believe it's a fireworks uh, a flare gun skin. So I'm actually about to drop the next one. Be ready, guys. I hope you guys have your copy fingers on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All they do is give out dungeons instead of content. O'Neill, um, dungeons are different every week. And PC Arc at its best never gave us an update every week with something completely new, right? So as much as it may not seem like it, uh, I think it's actually okay that we have those dungeons, you know? I'm all right with it. Dropping a code. There we go. What's the difference between a griffin and a royal griffin? Miguel, a uh, griffin on PC does not have the name families. They aren't pre-named, right? They also tend to stutter. They're not exactly um, a well-developed creature. Like, they're they're cool-looking, but you can't breed them, and they can't... Uh, they they kind of stutter when they fly, so they're not actually all that useful, right? Whereas the royal griffins that you see on mobile have different name families, so they're a little bit harder to breed. There are some more rules to them. They're a little harder to tame for various reasons. You can breed them, um, which makes them super, super strong, by the way. They're fantastic. And they don't, they don't stutter. They're very well done. So, uh, I don't know. I think the royal griffin is like a masterpiece of game design for Ark, honestly. Oh, Alv, I feel that, I feel that. Um, if you want advice for how to get back into ARK, honestly, I would start a new game. It it feels so much better, honestly. If you're feeling burned out on ARK, the early game, I think, is one of the things that pulls you in the best, and it's one of the things that presents you with new challenges and things to do. So if you're going to have to restart um, or try to get back into a game after you've been away for a while... Restarting can be really good for kind of clearing that slate. Mega, you got the code. Congratulations. Uh, no worries, Molly. I super appreciate you coming here for this stream. Please remember to hit the like button, guys, since we did have to restart. Would appreciate it. Will I continue my Ragnarok series? You missed that. Um, do you mean my Cross Arc series? I never had, like, just a Ragnarok series. As far as I know. I did have an extinction series, though. Am I going to drop the code on the screen? Dawson, I already dropped the code. I dropped the codes in the chat. Uh, so you'll see it from me, the streamer. You'll see a code pop up in the chat. That's what you have to copy, paste, or try to retype. What time is it in my country right now? It is 6.42 p.m. My commando, thank you so much for hanging out. Do appreciate it. <clears throat> Demon Slayer says, what server are you on? We're on Toast Village right now. Um, Cyber Gaming, hello, how's it going? Dawson, no, you missed it. I'm sorry. There will be more. I have 10 codes total to give away. We've only given away two, so there will be eight more giveaways, by the way. Just FYI, guys. Don't get discouraged if you didn't get the first two codes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> friend, why do you keep taming dodos? Me, you don't understand. I get it. I get that, actually. Uh, Alv, of course. Best of luck continuing on with Ark. That is awesome. Giovanni, how do you redeem the code? Uh, go to your in-game options menu, right there. And under extras on the left-hand side, you want to hit the button on the very bottom. It should say support codes. It's a little covered up by my web webcam, but uh, support codes... And then you enter the code there and you hit accept for the server or redeem in single player if you want it on your single player game. You have to have pretty fast fingers to get them. Uh, people usually jump on these codes pretty hard. 
I'm almost done. I just want my free amber. My 15 amber. What's my least favorite dino on ARC, PC, or mobile? Definitely the Microraptor. I hate Microraptors. They can all die, in my opinion. Uh, Dodos are majestic. They really are. They're so man magnificent, you know? Uh, CXM, it's 3 a.m. for you. Oof, CXM, man. If you need to sleep, man, don't feel bad about needing to leave. I do appreciate everyone who comes and watches and hits the like button, uh, all of that. But definitely don't stress it if you got to sleep. I know I stream at a weird time on Sundays. <laughs> Jackie, oh, I'm totally a meme. I'm totally a meme. Do I think Ark is pay to win? Uh, Chainosaur, no, I think Ark is hack to win at the moment. Technically speaking, there's no real win condition for ARC, uh, especially on PvE, especially on single player. So no, I don't think the game can be potentially pay to win. Uh, PvP is a little bit of a different case, but I don't really think that it's pay to win, right? Because you don't pay and then... Are we going to get fireworks? Yes! I can't see them! Hold on, I must go up here. Hey, um, yeah, I don't think it's a uh, pay to win even on PVP because really like you can get some things that might help you in the raid, but there's also, if you do the grinding, you can easily beat that, right? Like it, it's more about the grinding of resources and that's kind of a hard thing to balance because some things you can grind and some things you can't and some things are stronger than others. So it is what it is. Um, and the devs have taken steps to try to minimize pay-to-win elements in the game. Sure, there are a few, like being able to buy a metal base. But, again, you know, they, they do their best to sort of reduce it. Which is why they removed the industrial grinder from PvP. Um, when's the next giveaway, Epiphania? Next giveaway is in about 10 minutes. Stay tuned. Daily Pursuit streams are a beautiful thing. Honestly, I should have done this earlier, but I didn't know what the Daily Pursuit was going to be until, like, 10 minutes before stream. <laughs> so I apologize deeply to everyone that we're sitting on a mountain for 30 minutes of the stream, but it's okay because we have giveaways. And this way I get to talk to chat anyway without being totally distracted by the game. I love it. We have a lot of people down there. Chilling. Uh. <laughs> Jet says, what is the code? Jet, the codes only work once, so you'll have to wait for the next one. <laughs> I love the fireworks. It's amazing. <laughs> Just popping the fireworks on the ground. Cassie, you're dying in the heat. I feel that. I have my AC on because <laughs> it was so hot today. Uh, Brooke, hello, how's it going? Uh, can you change level up speed and tame speed? Uh, Chainosaur... Uh, oh, for custom rates in Arc Mobile single player? I don't think they would do that necessarily, um, because... Because they already have XP boosts in the game and they have, uh, soothing bombs in the game. The real concern for me with single player rates, right, is being able to adjust the length of the day and the night. And then on top of that, the biggest issue is being able to adjust the cooldown timers for mating your dinos. So the Equus has an eight hour mate cooldown timer on single player, which is insane. That is so long. No one is going to sit in their single player game for eight hours while they're trying to breed their Equus and mutate them, right? Like it's an absurd thing to even suggest. So I think if they were gonna make single player a little bit better for people who like to breed and just wanna have pretty dinos, uh, the best way to do that would be to either introduce items that um, you can definitely, like, just completely wipe out the mate cooldown timer or uh, to have those rates be adjustable so keep people could set the equus timer to, like, 30 minutes instead of 8 hours, right? I'll sit for 30 minutes. I'm not going to sit for 8 hours waiting for the horses to finish being tired. It's weird. Uh, bye Dawson. Have fun at school in the morning. Oof, I forgot school's starting up again, guys. It's the worst. Veronica, hello, welcome. Patty, hello, how's it going? What server is this? It's called Toast Village. 
How much time is left to the giveaway? About eight minutes. No, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Apologies. Okay, how's it going? Welcome. Did I change the day night cycle on Toast Village? Uh, no, Scott. I changed it for the Eerie event and I haven't changed it back. So I need to change it back because the nights are quite long. They're a little bit long right now. Veronica, you're a huge fan. Thank you so much, Veronica. I appreciate that. Uh, Nicole says, do Arthur Plura's sneak ability work in a mean cave? Yes. Nicole, they do. Uh, the sneak ability works in every cave. It works on all creatures unless they've been revived. So if you have an Arthropleura, don't use it if you've revived it. But if you haven't, if you just tamed it straight out of a cave and walked it out, uh, you can take that thing through any cave you want until it needs revived. <laughs> can I tell you how to find... Uh, is that turtles? Like Carbonimus, um, they're usually on beaches. Or if you're looking for Tussos, the squid, they're really hard to find. They're super rare in the oceans. Typically, I find them in the south, the southern oceans. Lazy. Oh, you were midnight. Okay, yeah, I remember you. I think I remember you as Lazy Gotcha too, but it's been a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, and hopefully you do start playing Arc Mobile again. I'm starting, like I said, I just started a new thing today. I spent like three hours playing Arc Mobile today, and it was, it was actually really fun and a really good time. So I'm feeling the motivation. We're almost done with this pursuit, and then I'm going to go do things. I don't know what things yet, but things. Things. Can I do an Ascendant Archaeopteryx? Toxic, I definitely can. I can make it fast like Turbo Snail. I don't know how helpful that's going to be. But I could definitely do more Ascendant Creatures. How long is mating interval 0.01? .01? O'Neill, it's about four or five minutes on most creatures. Yes. That feels good. That feels real good, not going to lie. I can leave. Whee. I do like the fireworks. Okay, so... What do you think, chat? Do we want to do a dungeon or do we want to do some griffin hunting? I'll leave it up to you guys. <laughs> Gotta go in 10 minutes. Oh, Molly, thank you. Best way to tame a Mosa. Kobe, trap it and then knock it out. Uh, they're pretty easy if you trap them. Just use uh, behemoth gates. Yeah, behemoth gates, I think. And you can, uh, you can trap it. They don't cut through the stone, so it's pretty easy. That is a lot of, uh, a lot of griffin hunting. Two dungeons. Go boxing in the ring. We could do a little of that as well. Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. Okay, dungeon's making a comeback now. Oh my gosh, I need someone to add these things. Cassie, you should start doing the dailies. I have like 700 amber and it's all from doing dailies. <laughs> Over the past couple of months. It adds up pretty quick. Molly, thank you. You're amazing. Do a flip. That was a flip. Don't think about it too much. Griffins are coming back again. Dungeon with online friends. The problem is our dungeons are PvP. So trying to do dungeons with people uh, is a little stressful. Just a wee bit stressful. <laughs> Especially because I use a gun, a shotgun, and it kind of has a spray and... I, mm, People die. It's a thing. It's not fun when your friends die. Uh, might be able to pull it off if I was allied with people, but I did shoot Magus the other day and he is my ally, so I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> uh, dungeon because you get good stuff? Well, sort of. This week wasn't great on the uh, loot, I'm not gonna lie. Although, I do like getting all of that good sweet element. Oh. The sweet, sweet element. It's quite nice. Another dungeon, another griffin. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no idea which one is winning. They're they're almost dead even. I think griffin is winning a little bit. We can do both. We can spend a little time hunting for griffins. Then I can go do a dungeon. Then I can come spend more time hunting for griffins. I don't want to spend three full hours flying around this mountain looking for them because it does get old. 
Nothing. Nothing. Mr. Scary says, Guana, you're so nice. Thank you. I try. Dungeon with primitive stuff. Oh, that's, uh, that's the shortest dungeon run ever, my friend. You do know that everything in the dungeon is turbo this week. Uh, so me trying to do that in primitive armor is just going to get destroyed. Very quickly. Because you cannot avoid being bitten. There's no amount of movement speed that will save you. It's a fact. It's a fact. I see no griffins. They've all disappeared. I'm hunting them, but they're just not here, guys. A cave run. Uh, we could do a cave run, too. I haven't done a cave run in a while. Always up for trying to find better stuff. Say us, but put an S behind the U. Us. No? That not work for you? Hey. Satyrna's trapped again. It's the only high-level NA griffin I've ever seen. What is this? <laughs> it's kind of pretty in this light. I didn't think I would actually like the flare that much, but I really do. The red light flare is kind of nice. Uh, how do you get an eerie griffin? So, David, you can either tame an eerie griffin when eeries are available on the server during an event... Uh, so the summer event just passed. That's how, um, that's how I got my eerie griffins. Or, uh, you can get them by using the tech kibble processor, which is a lot less efficient. It takes element. Uh, you have to, like, find griffin implants and then convert Quetzal kibble to griffin kibble. And then you have, like, a one in a hundred chance to get an eerie griffin implant back out of that. It's not super efficient unless you're on single player. Uh, that's the best way to get them on single player because you can just save and save and redo it until you get it. <laughs> I was supposed to say sus. That's a little sussy, Andre. Uh, how to tame a griffin? Gregory, griffins can be tamed like most creatures. They're a knockout tame. The problem is, is that they may not respect you. So you see this griffin doesn't respect me. You can only tame a griffin that says it respects you. And there's a few different ways to gain griffin respect. Namely, you have to have a high level or you have to match the name family of the griffin that you're trying to tame. It's a little complicated. I have a whole video about griffin taming. You're supposed an eerie skin for survivors. Jackie, uh, there is. There is. The Eerie Implant skin is, uh, it, it looks a lot like the Ultimacy skin, but the colors shift. Um, it's, it's a pretty good looking skin. You have to do the weekly pursuit for the dungeon 10 weeks in a row, and then you can get that skin unlocked. I think it costs 500 amber. I have it on my single player. Uh, it's a pretty nice looking skin. I don't know if anyone on the server has it or I'd ask them to come out and show it off. Do, 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 do. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a good skin. Highly recommend. <laughs> Say us, but add an S before the U. That's, that's how it was supposed to work. Now I have to say sus. Dang it. I was doing so good at avoiding it. You're sus. <laughs> When I ask specific creatures to spear when you're actively looking for them. I mean, I did just kill, like, 20 griffins, so. Uh, they do take a while to respawn sometimes. Usually I come back uh, two or three times a day, clear them out. Come back two or three times a day, clear them out. That's, that's kind of my method at the moment. Instead of just endlessly flying around the mountain, because they do take forever to respawn. Bye, Lazy. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. I hope you have a great rest of your day and super excited that I remembered you as well. It's always nice when people come back after a while and I actually remember them. I'm like, yes. Yes, I can stick to it. I do remember the people from when I was a small YouTuber. Now I'm just a kind of small YouTuber. It's different. 
Luna, you just found a unicorn. Congratulations. Wicked Grizzly, favorite dino is, of course, the Iguanodon, because they're fabulous. Uh, I also like Carnos because they're derpy. So Iguanodons are majestic and Carnos are derpy. Those are my favorites. Go figure. Nothing. Nothing. Just give me a bird, please, game. It's like, nah. You don't need no griffin. You don't need no griffins. But I actually do. I need a high level one. Sus, you kill a lot of griffins, ejected from the ship. Ah, uh, that doesn't make me sus. That makes me determined to find the right griffin. I'm also very stuck on this rock and tree. Oh my god. Uh, the struggle is real. Magus just says PvP in the chat. Which you guys can't see. No. Hassan says, why didn't you play Arc Genesis 2? Um, honestly, Hassan, I... The main reason I've struggled to play Arc Genesis 2 is because Genesis 2 did not seem like a very good DLC to me. Um... Yeah. It, it, it's just not a very good DLC. It's kind of hard to describe, right? So, the main problem with Genesis 2 is that the map is overly large, but there's really no variation in it. So what makes an ARP map, ARC map interesting in my mind and in the minds of most of the people who I know who make content for ARC um, is a map that has a lot going on, right? So it's not just endless fields of trees. It's not just a regular mountain. There's, we want caves. We want caves behind waterfalls. We want hidden caverns we want interesting features we want ruins we want things that look different we want things to explore uh stuff like that right genesis didn't have that i think they have one cave on the entire map that i've seen and it's boring and there's no waterfall caves whatsoever so the map is just huge for no reason um on top of that the new dinos well the new creatures they aren't dinos which the reason that i loved ark in the first place was because it was a dinosaur game i love the fact that there were dinosaurs in it Occasionally, fantasy creatures are pretty cool, but, like, I kind of started losing interest in Ark when they stopped making dinosaurs, which they did after Aberration. None of those creatures have been dinosaurs since then. They've all been made up, completely made up, which is just not the same. Um, and then Genesis 2 also has missions. I hate missions. I think they're really poorly done. They're not well-developed. They definitely weren't QA-tested enough because they're all broken. Um... Yeah, it's just not good. And the map was not as pretty as Gen 1. So it wasn't even worth exploring the map to me. So Genesis 2, I don't know. I flew around it. Um, I've played about 12 hours on it. And it just, I feel like I don't need to do the boss fight. I feel like I watched a video on what happened. And that's the end of it for me. Um, that being said, I do have an active uh, streaming thing going on for Genesis 2. I'm working on it. Uh, it's just something I need to find more time to actually put in for YouTube streams because I am going to do a full playthrough of it. Um, I'm trying to keep myself excited about it, but it's been hard with my schedule lately. <laughs> yeah, the, the Shadow Mane's pretty cool. I do like the Shadow Mane's quite a bit. Am I going to play Arc 2 when it comes out? Micah, I don't know yet. I'm going to wait uh, and see if it's any good. It may not be good. Lost Island. I'm excited about Lost Island because I think it looks like a good map. I I absolutely despise the fact that the art community decided to have yet another monkey that is not actually a dino and it throws poop like every other monkey in Ark. I I'm annoyed by it. But um so I'm not looking forward to the new creature, but I am looking forward to the new map and hopefully I'll enjoy that as well. Uh okay. Can I show you waterfall caves? Uh, Toxic, on the island? I can show you at least one. Um, Ragnarok is more well known for them, as is uh, Valguero, but, you know, it's it's not the worst. Uh, I need to drop a code for you guys. Sorry, I was pausing while I was answering those questions. All right, code three. Um, the Titanosaur is hard to tame. Kobe, they're not hard to tame. They take a long time, I think, is the problem. No griffins left? Yeah. No griffins left. 
We've done the thing so many times. Thanks, Mega. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean there's no griffins left? Oh, that's you, Magus. Fine. Um, Fiery Dragon, I do remember you. Welcome back. How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, do I think the Shadow Man kill Giga? Giga does from your last gen stream. It killed everything. Um, I think a Shadow Man could kill a Giga, 100%. Shadow Mains are really OP. Um, almost brokenly so. Nothing else kind of compares. Bye, Amali. I will definitely remember you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see you in another stream at some point. Uh, even if it's not the next one. Mariana, congratulations on getting the code. Rage God says, what is the code for? The codes are single-use redemptions. Hey, there's a griffin. The codes are single-use redemptions, and what they give you is a top hat skin and a bandana, which is awesome. I love getting collars in my codes. Um, and then they also give you a rocket, not a rocket launcher, a fireworks flare gun skin. Got it. Banana, welcome. How are ya? You are a little late. What's up, man? Mm -hmm. Fire Dragon, yesterday you got a phone? Congratulations! What type of phone did you get? Hopefully a good one. Just shooting flares at it. <laughs> there we go. Lanazar is now dead. Da, 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 da. Can you show us the cave, please? I want to check it out. Uh, sure. It's a pretty well-known cave, particularly for people who are, uh, who play a lot of PvP. Let me scope this side of the mountain as I head that way. Um, I think most people will know it. It's the waterfall cave in the snow biome. I'm guessing, Cassie, that what happened there is if people type in the code at the exact same time, it might not have time to cancel itself out before it, uh, gets used. As it were. How do you use the code? Mark, to use the codes, you go to your in-game options menu and under extras on the left-hand side here, you hit the option on the bottom. It says support codes. Enter the code here and then hit accept if you want it in the server or redeem in single player if you want it on single player. Samsung Galaxy. Nice. I love the Samsung Galaxies. I have the Note 9 and it's gorgeous. You're missing. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana. That, that intro that I haven't done in forever, I do need to do it more. Don't worry. I'm making it. I'm making the content. I recorded today. It's fantastic. Um, where on the map, though? Toxic. Uh, I'm showing you guys. Hold on. I'll pull out the map and you can see it. If you see the river right there where it's between the mountains, where the river hits the ocean. That is a cave. I will go show you. It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> Banana, you missed the intro. <laughs> I had so many people tell me that they hated the intro because it was always the same. I don't know. People were like, mix it up, do something different. So I didn't do it for a few months and now everyone misses it. Uh, Chazzy, how's it going? Still quarantining with the COVID? Oh, Jaden, I get that. Yup. It's a little rough. Um, restrictions are kind of lifting around here, and I, I am vaccinated, so that's been nice, but it's definitely something to be aware of. So this is a cave. There's a, a dossier here. Oh, Sarko. Heal it. Uh, I do have that on, yeah? Okay, it's a little hard to see, guys. But there is a cave behind this waterfall. There's a couple of pillars and an explore note in here. Uh, you can actually build in this cave, which is kind of cool. It's a nice hidden little spot. Right there. Right there. Um, so things like that, I think, are what makes our maps more interesting. It's just having some variation in biome, having, uh... Having it be a little bit more clear where things spawn and stuff like that and uh, having sneaky things like that that are fun to explore. Having random ruins 
thrown over the, the map, I think, is good. The ruins make the, the maps more interesting to me. I'm having a hard time talking because I keep repeating my thes. I'm stuttering, guys. It's happening. My old intro was good. Aw, thank you, Jat. <laughs> Make more videos later on. If you don't, no more toaster coffee. Henry, I'm working on it. I actually was planning, guys, to uh, go do more recording on this um, later tonight and then start trying to edit down the first video out of it. It's going to be an interesting series. I'm not 100% sure how I want it to, to come out yet, so... Yeah, bear with me on that. But hopefully the series is going to be fun and engaging for you guys. Oop. Bye, Miguel. Oh, Josh, you accidentally killed the unicorn. Oh, no. Just got the code, but you also want it in single player. Next time, if you get it, can you redeem it in single player? Mariana, yes, you can. Uh, you may not be able to redeem it in single player, but you can hit the redeem in single player option, and it will send it to your single player game. <laughs> Only haters hate the intros. Exactly. Exactly. If it wasn't for last week's dungeon stream, you wouldn't have known to bring frog feet, so thank you. You're welcome, Fiery Dragon. You can also use just regular scuba flippers. I just use frog feet because I have, like, a lot of them. Uh, what my favorite arc map is? Gabe. Um... Honestly, I kind of enjoyed... Valguero the most for the non-official ones and I enjoyed it because there were so many interesting ruins on it that I like to build in so Valguero is very good for the non-officials and for the official maps I honestly loved Aberration the best uh, Aberration was just such a fascinating map to me there was so much going on so many cool things I loved the concept of it um, it still held true to the whole idea of Ark and Dinos but it was a little different, which I loved. Oh, it was fantastic. Aberration holds my heart. Favorite DLC of art, Aberration. <laughs> uh, MV Gaming, no, no, stream is nowhere near over. Don't even worry about it. Magus is just following me around with a flare gun. He wants to PvP me so bad. I don't blame him. I did shoot him in the dungeon last week. I feel bad. A little. He was trying to shove me. Do, 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 do. When am I dropping the next code? Next code will be dropped in about nine minutes. I'm dropping them about once every 20 minutes. Look, I found a grab pen. I kill. Kill it. I spend so much time on this mountain, it's a little ridiculous. What song do I hate with my own heart? Uh, three chartreuse buzzards. I hate it. I can't even... Mm. I'm mad that I had to say the name because then I thought of it and it upset me. Uh, yeah, that's my least favorite song ever of all time in the world. And it's it's literally like nails on a chalkboard to me. Uh, that and Baby Shark. I also... I get mad at Baby Shark. I can't listen to it. Uh... So happy you made it to the stream. We love my channel so much. Thank you, Borky Poo. Super appreciate it. Super glad you were able to make it to the stream today. Uh, Caden, hello, how's it going? And Emerald, hello, how's it going? What have you missed? Not a ton, honestly. I sat on a mountain for a ridiculously long time looking for, uh, trying to get the daily pursuit done. And now I'm sitting on a different mountain looking for griffins. Not those, though. Those are tamed. I want wild ones. I'm looking for a high-level NA griffin, and I'm having no luck. I might take a break soon and go do this week's dungeon. We'll see. We'll see. I'd need to get some stuff together for it. Is that just, like, the strangest colored dodic I've ever seen? I thought it was, like, a rock or maybe an off amber pile. I don't know. Amber that had gone bad or something. Weird looking. Do I think a 470 dire bear can kill a giga? Mm, under the right circumstances, I don't see why not. Potential. Dive bomb. <laughs> My dive isn't as impressive as his, but it's fine. I know, I am the mountain queen, it's true. Jackie, what's your question? What's the code for? MV Gaming. Codes are for a top hat skin, a bandana, and a 
fireworks flare gun skin. So you can set off some fireworks. It's good stuff. It's a pretty good code, honestly. There's not a lot going on with the code, but anytime they give us a collar is kind of... I'm a fan. I like it. <laughs> Abigail, hello, how's it going? Chuck Chu, how's it going? I've missed you. Welcome back. I know, right? People always, like, miss the streams. I'm so excited when people come back to the stream after they've been gone for a while. It's so nice seeing you all. Why your arc is always crashing? Kobe MC, what device are you using? Try putting it on battery saver mode uh, in the app and try turning your resolution down. That usually helps a little. And then just build smaller bases and such. Why do you never get notifications for this channel? You get them for other channels. Brent, uh, do you have notifications turned on? There's a little bell button somewhere. There used to be. There used to be a little bell button. And you could hit the bell button and it would give you notifications for the channel. It's good stuff. Uh, what's the most annoying thing that happens beside me sacrificing the Jaboa? What do you mean? Uh, Jackie, you were, you were on my Twitch stream, yeah? When my Jerboa died? The most annoying thing that happened was, uh, that fire wyvern aggroing on me from, like, the most far away and murdering me before I could get my stuff back and then a sandstorm coming down so I couldn't get my stuff back. It was great. It was great. There's a bell next to subscribe. Thank you, Cassie. Exactly. I can't see it on mine, so it's hard to... <laughs> I have a hard time remembering. What's the dino that I hate? The Microraptor. Luckily, they're not on mobile. <laughs> oh, it's a Huawei. Okay, Kobe. Yeah, that's why. Those are those are funky devices. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Um, yeah, my best advice is to just try restarting it regularly and doing all of the, uh, you know... Battery saver mode, low res, all that. So to redeem codes, guys. Options menu. Under extras, at the very bottom, hit support codes. Enter the code there. I'm going to make a little shortcut for the mods to copy-paste. It's going to be a thing. I have to stop and do that like every five minutes. Just going to make a little thing that auto-answers. I'm going to set up a bot or something. Anytime someone says support code in there, I'm going to be like, aha, or how to redeem. Anytime someone asks about it, it's going to go off. It's going to be great. I see nothing. There are no griffins anymore, guys. We murdered them all. I'm upset. I think it's time to just about take a break. Let me go up the top. Mog is just flying off the edge of the mountain there. It's fine. Oh, my God. Everyone's having so much fun on their griffins and then me on my RG. Like, <laughs> I can do it. <sighs> I could do it. I can get up here, too. It just takes me a little longer. <sighs> what was my favorite moment I ever had on Arc PC? O'Neal, I don't even know. I've had so many good moments. Um... I've had so much fun. I've had so much fun on Arc PC. I, uh, I guess probably my favorite moments ever were raiding with my, my original group of people that I played with. Um, we played on an unofficial server and we would go out and we would raid people. We were basically pirates. We lived on a raft and in an underwater cave. We had like two tames and all we would do is just like, I don't know, we would like jump Basically, I would drop someone from up in the air, and they would go in with a parachute and a sword and try to, like, bomb their way into someone's base. It, it was always a mess, but it was always 100% fun. Sniping people from the, from the ocean was great. I just enjoyed playing with those guys. It's been a long time. Ark is fun with friends. <laughs> All right. All right, I can only handle so much. We are gonna go and take uh, take ourselves over and see if we can get stuff together for a dungeon run because I need to do something. Looking for griffins is like, I can only do so much of it. 
before watching, but 100 likes. Micah, people come in and out. Uh, so, it happens. Support code almost ready. Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes, Mariana. <laughs> Can you redeem in single player? Josh, I think you have to redeem in multiplayer. But you can hit the redeem in single player option and it will send it to your single player game. So still be ready. I would just log into any official PVE server, spawn on the beach and hit the support code and then leave the game. Like you never have to go back to it again, right? It's pretty great. Ooh, eerie Quetzal. Hi. It looks like Quetzaldea, but eerie. Do, 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 do. I always forget that there's that PvP base there. Alright, off we go. Nyeh. Must get things together. <laughs> when your arc is crashing, you got mad? Like you're so mad you think you're getting a stream version? <laughs> right, Kobe, I get that. Uh, after a long time, you finally get into a live. Welcome, Zachary. Hope you're having a great day. Jess, thank you for dropping some wood in there. I super appreciate it. Need that metal. Sparkle Boy, I did know that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. If one can do dungeons now, you miss a lot. Banana, somewhat. I can do them if they're pretty easy. Uh, the speedrun dungeon is pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie, so I don't have too much trouble with it. Oats, hello, how's it going? What's the funniest meme I've ever read? It's not, uh,. I don't know if I can say it on stream. <laughs> it's it's from a not so PG meme, but uh yeah, it's it's basically a lungfish crawling onto land and it says uh Oh my god, I can't remember what the words are, but it was really funny. Yeah, it's a biology meme. It's fantastic though. I love it. I'm a nerd. Most of the griffins be like, why are you smacking me? Uh, yeah, Andrew, if they can't be left alone, they must be cleaned. Cleansed from the land. To make way for my new, more powerful griffins. Or more terrible griffins, as the case may be. A mint green body? Nice, Jess. I got, uh, I got, like, electric green stripes on my equus, and they're gorgeous, actually. I'm super excited to breathe that color in. Support code time. Yes, it is. Thank you for reminding me, guys. I'm waiting for my base to load in while we do this. If it doesn't do it, I'm going to have to restart the game, as per usual. I'm going to do it before I hop in the dungeon anyway. Arc is fun, but your friend and cousin don't play anymore, so you can't play with them. O'Neill, that does make it harder to enjoy. Yeah, my, uh... I can't even target my door to get in. I'm so sad. Hey, oh, wait, how's it going? If you drop something for me, it may not show up. It, it literally may just not show up for me. <laughs> I think I need to restart this. Can I speed run Ark? Uh, Kobe, I don't do much speed running. Uh, I don't do much speed running. I don't find much joy in speed running. I like to enjoy the game, so I tend to take my time. Um, but there are definitely lots of videos on how to like do note runs to get XP really quickly, other ways to kind of speed run arc, stuff like that. There's definitely ways to do it. I just, uh, I'm not one of those people that plays that way. Get the code again. Gradu Congratulations, Mariana. You must be really quick. Uh, Moo got it as well. Nice. Bye, Manuel. Thank you so much for hanging out. All right, guys. I'm going to do this real quick. I need to just... Don't worry. I don't have to stop the stream. I just have to restart my game. <sighs> Sometimes things don't render in. And I have to sit here and wait. <laughs> Rejoin. Um, Stegos and mobile are kind of useless and very limited in move. Might need a CLC. Banana, I kind of agree with you. Uh, I think the Stego could use a little love on mobile. I don't think that's top priority for anyone, including the devs. Uh, I think if they were going to have to choose something, it would be... Um, 
it would probably be adding a new creature or a new map uh, or bug fixing all of the issues that they currently have. There we go. Hey, thank you so much for all of the uh, the good loot here. That's fantastic. Thank you, Zeus. Ah, I got those too. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you so much for all of the things. Oh, this is good. Yeah, open. Ooh. That's a lot of pretty good armor, not gonna lie. Especially since my armor's a little beat up. Uh, I am more than happy to take some new stuff. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't even think I have any spare armor on me. Oh no, I'm full. I'm full. I always... I hate this part. I have so many things in my smithy, and it's just, it's a problem. Can't use that anyway. I don't super need those. All right. All right, well, I have a few things stashed. Unfortunately, this area is at structure capacity, so I, I kind of have to get creative with where I put things. Because I don't have any more room, and it's frustrating. I'll actually need to go by my other base and drop stuff off. Here we go. This'll do. This'll do. Nice. Now I have a spare thing. Uh, I can do that. I can do that. I need to get myself some more shotgun ammo. And I think that's really all I need. The If I recall correctly, there's not super a lot of crazy things in this week's dungeon. Stimulants. Uh, enough metal arrows to take out the jellyfish boss, which I should have. How much of these can I make? <laughs> uh, Raptors, thank you so much for becoming a member again. Super appreciate that, man. You're a gecko friend now, and I love it. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Uh, I did have a fantastic day, Raptors. Thank you for asking. No idea why, but you really want gotchas on mobile. I feel that. Uh, how new is the face cam? Uh, Labrador, oh my gosh. It's been ages since I've seen you. So the face cam, it's been more than a year. It's been more than a year. <laughs> uh, I face revealed last August, so it's been an entire year since I've had my face reveal out, and I have been streaming with a face cam since then. Max, how's it going? Cassie, thank you so much for becoming a uh, member as well. Oh my gosh, you've got the bread. That's a higher tier. Amazing. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for all of the support today. If you keep this up, I'm going to cry. And uh, that could be a thing. Could be a thing. All right, I need gunpowder. Do I? Ooh. I had some stuff in the community crafter building, but... Is it still there, is the question. The answer is no. It's out of fuel entirely. Someone cleaned it out. <gasps> no. Okay. I need more uh, shotgun ammo than this. It's a thing. I need more shotgun ammo than this. And now I don't know how easy that's going to be to get. Uh, mostly just gunpowder I need. I have plenty of metal, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Let me think here. Let me grab a little of this fuel. Mm -hmm. That works. Grab trucker. Magus, you'd give me some? Uh, I mean, you can. But I used two on you. <laughs> you tried to punch me into the room before I was ready. And it wasn't even a speedrun dungeon. Not cool. But that's alright. I can definitely get my own. Not hard to make, to be honest. Gimme. And I really don't even need to make that much of it. I have nine gunpowder right there. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. There we go. And we just burn all of that. Nice. I have a hatchet somewhere. 
Where's my hatchet? I don't even know. I have so much stuff in this bird. Oh, good lord. Too many things. Oh, I need these. Um... Uh, I need those too. Do I not have a hatchet anymore? What? What? Where did I put one? Um, I have a pretty good regular shotgun, Cassie. I'm pretty happy with it. It'll be enough for this dungeon for sure. It does a good amount of damage. I just have to be up close, which, you know, I'm up close. It's fine. <laughs> And Cassie, thank you so much for the Streamlabs donation. Oh my goodness. Toast. Toast to you as well, Cassie. Thank you so much. I super appreciate your support today. You're going to make me cry. I'm not going to lie. You guys have been awesome. Uh, is a pump shotgun with 151 power good? It's pretty good. Um, it's, it's okay, Parth. It's good on easy difficulty. It's not the best on anything higher than that. Like medium and whatnot, you're going to want something up over 200 if you can get it. Trust. Um, okay, so the major problem here... I need inventory management for trucker. I do, yeah. Eee. Major problem here is getting enough gunpowder. And I've totally lost my hatchet, and I'm getting all of the lag. Oh, this area makes me cry. I have a hatchet somewhere. I just don't know if it's here. It's not there. <gasps> I found it! I'm so proud of myself. You don't even know, guys. You don't even know. That was the struggle. I'm gonna go chop a few trees, make some more charcoal. We're gonna do a thing. I'm in a nutshell. Don't Rick roll. <laughs> do I watch a bit more day? No, I do not. Um, Alex, uh, we are playing on Toast Village right now. I should make medical brews. Uh, I have some. I don't even think I need to make any. I have a bunch. Don't you do it! Trucker has been walking away so much lately. Ugh. Ugh. Come to admin, you have some? Okay. I can do that. I'll drop this, uh, in the thingy first. I'm still gonna make the charcoal for next time. Iguana, do you... do you... do you what? Kraka, how's it going? I am having a pretty good night. You're not? Oh no, Kraka, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hopefully it gets better. Can you do giveaways in Toast District? Uh, these giveaways are for, like, stream chat, essentially. Um, it doesn't really matter what server you play on. You can play on official, unofficial. You can play anywhere. For any reason. Um... All right, Cassie, I'm, I'm guessing that by admin you mean the iceberg, yeah? Hopefully. Let's see, can you get a promo code twice in the same server? Uh, yes, Mariana, I believe you can. I believe you can. Ariana, yep. Yep. Uh, PCR takes a while to download, especially if you have the whole thing to download. It's a little brutal. Uh, I think when I first tried to play it, I was playing on, like, 5 megabits per second download speed. So it took me, like, a week to download ARC, and it was... Oh, it was awful. Um, internet speed is important, guys. Who's Commander Bar? He is a moderator of the chat. This is true. Came to level 90 Therian Toast District. Congratulations, Alex! Can I play this on Android? Tahid, yes you can. I even do play it on Android. Ah, uh, Kumar, hello, welcome. Turbo Rex room in the dungeon. It might be a threat to your armor. Uh, a little. A little, but as long as I kill them quickly enough, it's not going to make too much of a difference. I'm more worried about making sure I have the medical bruise for it. I am on the wrong level. 
Pump is 334. I'll be okay. My my pump, my non-pump is uh 435. It'll be fine. It's not that big of a, a problem. Hello, hello. It's a Cassie with the top hat skin. Play. So where is this ammo? In the smithies? Ooh. Ah, oh, my hero. Thank you. Yes. I'm gonna take, like, 300. I feel like that's an appropriate amount of ammo. This is an appropriate amount of ammo for this dungeon. We're good now. You're making more awesome. Why is Cassie in a birthday suit? I think it's a little warm in the base. She's just cooling off. Hey, Jess. I feel like Jess flew out here to say hello. What's going on? You followed me all the way out here. Oh my gosh, thank you. Heck, I'm going to have so much ammo, I won't know what to do with it all. Oh, this is good. This will hold me for several runs. <gasps> this is perfect. Uh, have I watched Green Mohawk's vids? No, I have not, O'Neill. Strange Gamer says hello, love from India. Hello, Strange Gamer. How's it going? And Tristan, hello. Joe Bro, I am doing pretty good. How are you doing? Do I know how to find Trudos? Uh, Kobe, do you mean Trudons? Crash from the village. Ah, gotcha, Jess. Gotcha. Trudons can only be found in dungeons, Kobe. Got a really good community. That's true. Uh, I, did I miss a code, guys? I think I did. I'm going to drop a code right now. If we're a little off, we're a little off. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um... All right, and I'm going to look up the dungeon and make sure that I'm not going to, like, totally murderize myself trying to do this today. Beautiful. Right. All right, I think the only problem I have with it is that there's... Oh, yeah. It's got that one lava trap you have to go over. Ooh. Don't like it. Right? One wall trap, one lava trap? Yeah. I think so. Oof. Um, okay. Have I tamed a titan? Mandy, yes. Uh, I think I even have it on video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, what's the code for my server? Tristan, this is a limited access server, so you do have to apply to be able to play on the server. It's free, but, um, I'm only letting in a certain number of people from the community each week so that the server doesn't get super overwhelmed. Otherwise, it would just be ridiculous how many people would try to hop on here at once when I streamed and then never played again. Um, which is not what I want from this server, so we're doing all right. <laughs> Mars, I did say I'm a lava magnet, and what's worse is I actually don't have an aerial symbiote. I should have dropped all my stuff back there. It's fine. Um, I have the chitin. I have potent dust back at the base. I need the neurohusk. husk. All right, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Smithy. <gasps> Oof. That's a little rough. It's a little rough. Let me see if I can uh, do this. Mango, congratulations on getting that. That's fantastic. I'm so excited you were able to get it. Um, What did you use to download Ark Survival Evolved? Tahid, I have it on uh, both an iPhone and an Android. So from the Apple Store and from the uh, Google Play Store. What's the server called? It's called Toast Village. Uh, there's an application form linked down underneath the stream, guys. It's in the stream description if you want to check that out. If you're interested in playing on here. 
Don't you walk away. Don't you do it. Alright. So the major issue I'm having... As I see it. There's one. Oh no. I have more dust than this somewhere. Um, the major issue I'm having is that I don't have an aerial symbiote. And I kind of want one. I kind of want one for this. I forgot about the lava trap. It's a thing. It's a horrific thing. There we go. That'll do. Alright. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna go hunt a few Neuras. It's not the easiest thing in the world. But I'm gonna go hunt a few Neuros and see if I can't find a Neura Husk real quick and just make one in my smithy. In my RG. In Trucker. I have 121 likes. Thank you guys so much for hitting that like button. I really do appreciate you guys. Super helps me out. You're happy because you have Gen 2. Congratulations, Max. Hopefully you have a lot of fun playing on there. Ah, thank you, Commando, for posting the link in the chat for people. Easy to get. Easy to get. Do I know when is the next Tech Kibble Processor Blueprint going to come out? Uh, no. So, the loot that they put every week is kind of random. Um, they don't really announce it ahead of time. They don't really... They're not really on a schedule as far as I can tell. So, basically what you have to do is you just have to go and request for the devs to put that in the loot if it's been a while since we've seen it. Um, yeah. It's... It sucks, but that's the way it is. I think it was in there kind of recently. All right. I need Mega Neuras, yeah? Mega Neuras. All right. So we go... Ah, not in the water. We go to the swamp. That's a very bright bear. Hi, bear. Bye, bear. It's fine. Don't look at me. I'm going to head over here. I'm going to head to the swamp and see if I can't find a group of Mega Nura that I can just make super angry. They're also usually in the redwoods, so... <gasps> An otter! Hold up! I'm distracted. <gasps> Look at how cute it is! Oh my god. What are you doing on land, little one? That's dangerous. You should be careful. I got distracted by the otter. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. There's a Mega Nura. Alright. The drop rate for these is incredibly low. So... Maybe I'll get lucky. Nope. That was one. I think the drop rate is something like 1 in 200. Eh. So the first one I find, I'm good to go. Uh... I heard it. Oh, another otter! Why? Why are they out on the beach? Just, like, being troublesome. Hold still. Stop sliding. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. I am the luckiest person in Ark right now. No way. No way. Alright. I'm, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I can't believe my luck. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. When's the next code? I think I'm gonna drop the next one in, like, a uh, couple more minutes here. <laughs> Ark is on a Gwena side for the first time ever. I know. I'm gonna go all the way in there. It's gonna be like, okay, you have to get into the dungeon. I'm going to get all the way through it, and then the Rex is going to kill me. Watch. Watch. Um. Mango. Aw, thank you so much. I'm so glad that that made your day. That makes me so happy when people feel better after watching my stream, you know? Positive vibes for my community, because you guys are incredible. <laughs> uh, did I hear Just Cat's Planet Her? No, I have not. Go buy a lottery ticket? I... <laughs> I think I just used up all of my arc luck for, like, the year. But, um, yeah, I definitely should, right? I should. 
Dude, if I won the lottery, guys, do you know how much more content I could put out? I could stream like six hours a day and make videos. That'd be amazing. Uh, Sparkle Boy, no, you're not muted. What's going on there? Oh, that lag. Oh my goodness. Eerie Otter, but bad, sad level. Yeah. Yeah, the level wasn't great on that one. Alright. I'm gonna... You don't you dare. I'm gonna go stash some of this ammo. Because I think I have way too much for what I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna stash like 300 of it. This will be good for the next round. How much do I have left? 376. What all is there? There's like Dimetrodons and Ankies and Araneos and Carnos and Rexes. I should be okay with that amount. Uh, and then I need medical brews, which I have a ton of. Because I am at least smart enough to have brought a lot of those. Okay. Um. Ah, hello. Hi, Smoo. What's up? Do I play Antos District anymore? Tristan, I do visit it uh, when I visit the public servers, but it is pretty rare. Sparkle Boy, uh... Oh, no, don't be like that. Okay, so Sparkle Boy, the thing is, is there's a lot of people in chat, and I am trying to hit those people that I don't respond to often or that I only see once in a while. Of course, I'm so glad that you were able to get the code, Smoo. Congratulations. Um... Yeah, so never be offended if I don't get to your chat. It's because chat moves pretty quick and I didn't see it. And that's just the way it is. Planet Her is a good album. Nice. It is, probably. No idea. Dark MS7. I love spiders. Oh my god, they're so cute. Do I play on other servers? Tristan, typically I play on single player. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's a little hard to keep up with server games because they just, they move... And I can't log into all of them all at the same time. So Toast Village is the only active server I have right now. I do have a server game on another patron server, uh, Toast Kingdom. And then I do also visit uh, the public servers on occasion. But it's not the same thing as having an active game on them. Sparky Poo, what do you need help with? What is this code about? Uh, so the codes, guys. The codes have um, a top hat skin, a bandana, and a fireworks flare gun skin. That is hard for me to remember. I don't know why. The fireworks flare gun skin. But yeah, bandana, top hat skin, pretty good stuff. Super excited about those codes. When's the next code? Soon. Magus. Maybe. I'm not going to guarantee that I'll play PvP today. I'm not going to guarantee it. And if we did, I would want to take everything off first because I don't want to lose my good stuff. <laughs> uh, Alyssa says, where do you live? Um, I'm not going to give you guys the exact state, but I do live in the Pacific Northwest. And I am in America, so I'm not in Canada, sadly. That's a pretty dotic. Hello. All right. Do I already have a sleeping bag here? I don't even know. Oh, no. I'm lagging again. I'm still lagging. Cool. <sighs> Relogging, guys. Relogging. Oh, so bad. Um, Tonio, how's it going? Happy birthday to you. Megaman says, uh, single player's better. True. Also, I like your channel name. Any easy way to tame the Titan? The cannon on Quetzal Method cost you a two 400 level Quetzal. Wait, how, Mandy? How? Um, 
as far as I know, the cannon on the Quetzal method is the easiest method to use to tame Titans. You have to hit them in the head with a cannon, and they don't um, they don't gain torpor unless they're moving. So you can't really trap it and cannon it because it won't work, right? So yeah, that is the easiest way to do it, and you should definitely have a good saddle on it. But it shouldn't it should never kill a Quetzal if it has any health at all. Um, Unless you're literally standing underneath it when it stomps. <laughs> um, you can get the stuff. Oh no, Mariana, I'm sorry. I don't know how to make it work then. Um, unfortunately, that is something I don't know how to tell you how to fix. My arc knowledge is extensive, but my tech support knowledge is iffy at best. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hopefully this works. We're back. We're back. Yes. All right. I like it. Okay. So I want to get rid of this. And I'm going to do this instead. There we go. I don't need that gasoline on me. I just don't. All right. I got a spare set of armor. I should be mostly okay. I have food. I have armor. We're good. Um, I want to make sure I have a sleeping bag down. Highlight it. There we go. Nice. That is not my first structure online, but thanks very much, game. Okay, so I'm a little nervous about this. I haven't done this in, uh... I haven't done this much on, on a server. So hopefully we don't lag out. Can I do ARC 100 days? Kobe, um, I'm actually doing something similar. I am doing a hardcore brutal game of ARC mobile. And it is kind of like 100 days of ARC. It's going to be similar to that. Epiphania, you live in Salem? Can I visit you sometime? Epiphania, I actually might be driving by there tomorrow uh, for other reasons, for dog reasons. But I do know where that is. <laughs> I'll wave if I go by. Um, let's see. You found a max level unicorn in Toast Sister. Congratulations, Alex. That's fantastic. When's the next code? I will drop it right before I go into this dungeon because I am not going to be able to focus once I get in there. I just know myself. All right. Enjoy, guys. Um, how do you bring animals in dungeons? Sparkle Boy, you can't. Will I ever play Ark on PC? Colette. Yes, I actually have an active uh, one going on there on Twitch at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to have to focus real hard and I hate it. Uh, oh, good lord. I hate it so much. Okay. More like 100 days of death. It's true. Oh, good lord. I already... I'm already lost. So dark. There we go. Alright, I need to get into the first uh, room very quickly. Alright, so let's put this on. No! Put that on. Here we go. Why? 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 I'm such a lava magnet, dude. I'm such a lava magnet. I haven't gone into a lava trap in years. And then I get lucky. I get the Meganera. I spend potent dust on it. And I go straight into the lava right off the bat. That's it. I'm so mad. I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset and Kopi knows it. 
I died. Are you sad for me? Are you sad for me because I died? Yeah, I'm sad for you. Ah, thank you. Am I a lava magnet? Yes. Oh. I'm a lava magnet. It's a thing. You're a good girl. Yes, what's the matter? Ah, don't fall. She is cute, isn't she? She knows I'm upset. She saw it and she was like, no, mama, no. She's a good dog. She's giving hugs. Is this as stressed as I get? Yeah. Yeah. She's a good girl. Good girl. Next time, jump over it all at once. Ah, uh, Colette, I never needed to. Like, you're, if you don't run, run, you should be able to jump it a little and then a little, right? So, ugh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad at myself. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. I can't even try to get my stuff back. It's just gone. Oh, it's the worst. What happened? I'm a lava magnet. That's what happened. All right. It's all gone. Dang it. That was some good stuff that I had, too. Rip. <gasps> oh, I think I forgot to take off all of my blueprints, too. Ah, oh, well. It's all right. <laughs> I'm so sad now uh there's only so much i can do about it though so i gotta like not dwell i gotta just put some clothes on and get some new weapons and try to carry on with my day e that was a big fat rip though that's uh yeah that's that's me in a nutshell straight into the lava for no reason at all i hit the wall i hope you guys saw that i hit the wall I should have bounced right down onto the platform, and for some reason, I just didn't get stuck on the platform. I just kept going straight into the lava. Can you not walk away from me? Trucker, please. My god, why do you hate me? Why does everything hate me in Ark today? Oh, there we go. Ah. <sighs> ha. No. Ah. <sighs> Big reason why your Arctis on Bubble are done. Ah, that's just one thing, though. That's not a big deal. It's Arc. You're gonna lose stuff. Redeem the codes, but not get the stuff. Uh, Borky Boo, they only work once. So you can't really redeem them more than... One person only can redeem them. So you have to be fast to get it before someone else does. Uh, they're a first-come, first-serve style. I'm so optimistic I could never. I mean... I tried. I tried so hard. I just can't believe it. Oh, man. Guys, you don't have to tell me how to do the, uh, the lava jumps. I've done them successfully hundreds of times. It's just every now and then the game decides to be like, uh, no, the way you normally do this is wrong and we're going to kill you anyway. Me, in lava, I just go in. I don't understand what it is about it. I, it's the same reason I hate the lava cave, even though I've run it a hundred times. I still just end up in the lava every time. It's ridiculous. Like, it's complete garbage. It makes no sense how I always end up there, but, ugh, I do. Banana, um... <laughs> honestly, Banana, you should go watch it back. It'll be better than me explaining it. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, Commando. Oh, no. I Yes, but also, like, I want to give people stuff. I wish we could get more codes, right? Like, I wish I had codes to give away every stream. I'd feel so good about life. That's useful. Oh. Mars, I don't hate dungeons. They're supposed to be hard. I should check my mail now. I mean, yeah, what else am I going to do with my life? I might as well. Shortest dungeon run ever on record. 
Cookie is stinky. Airborne, thank you. All right. One server tour. I don't even know, Mars. I gotta, like, get a list of all the village locations. I'll, you know, I'll organize that. Maybe that'll be the next Toast Village stream. That way I have a plan, at least, for what to do with my life. It'll be good. When's the next code? Uh, in... Let me count how many I have left. Okay, I have four codes left to give. Uh, which means that the next one will be dropping in one minute. Yes. And then we'll have three more after that. Perfect. I've got it. I figured it out. It's fine. I'm so upset with myself. Like, you guys don't even know. You don't even know how upset with myself I am. That's the pike I would want to make. Um... I'm glad I took a lot of stuff off of me before I went in there, but I'm quite sad about my... <sighs> everything else. All right, time to grind up more stimulants. Make more medical brews. It wasn't that hard to get ready for the dungeon. I just got to do it again. I need boots. <laughs> I need boots. Nyeh. I should PvP to feel better. That's that's not how that works. PvP is the opposite of feeling better. PvP makes me feel worse. Cuz then I'm bad at two things. Um, all right. Do I not have a boots blueprint? Am I like that? I am that way. I am that way. I don't have a boots blueprint. I just have terrible boots. These are okay, if I recall. But their durability is bad. I got nothing. I got nothing, guys. I have no boots. I have no boots at all. That's fine. Oh, I'll just go barefoot. No, equip it. Again, the lag is getting me. There we go. Look, I have clothes. Um, all right. Most of my other stuff is up at the, uh, snow biome. And I think I have mushrooms on here. If I'm not mistaken. Apparently I'm mistaken. I thought I had mushrooms on my bird. Maybe I don't. <gasps> I don't have any mushrooms on my bird. What kind of monster am I? All right. About time to take the theory out. <laughs> All right. So I need to release the next code. That needs to be a thing. Here we go, guys. Where to put the code? Guys. Options, in-game options menu, right there, under extras on the left-hand side. Tap support code at the bottom. Enter the code there and hit accept or redeem in single player. You have to be fast. I have a symbiote my RG. Uh, do I? I don't even know what I have on this RG. Oh, I do. How did I get that? I don't know where that came from. I have a torch, though. That's nice. Oh, I have weak, tiny shoes right there. <laughs> I do have shoes. They're just not great. I honestly don't know where that symbiote came from, but I'll take it. It's nice. Uh... I grinded one for what? Nothing. It's okay. I grinded one to lose it, and now the next one I'll take better care of it. It's fine. Fine. Why not make a drop hunt, uh, stream hunt that makes you rich on Ark? Uh, Mega Min, I'm not 100% sure how that would work. A drop stream hunt. Like, that would just be me running around the server picking up drops. Unless you want me to make drops myself and put them around the server and people have to go and find them. That could be fun, but how would I stream it? Do, 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 do. Why am I not completing pursuits? Mandy, um, I do daily pursuits, but most of the pursuits I don't really need to do. I don't have any desire to do them. I don't really need to level up fast, and I only do the pursuits if I want what they give. So it's just a thing. They kind of sit there. They're optional. They're not core gameplay. Can we... 
Can I go anywhere on this server without needing to reload? I'm just upset. This is upsetting. None of my horses are showing up. Boo. Ah. O'Neill, yeah, your body bag stays in dungeons uh, if you come back, particularly on multiplayer. They do. Um, however, I died in the lava. There's no coming out of that. Like, I can't get my body back. It's gone. <laughs> I can't reach into the lava and retrieve it. I would lose my arm. So, uh, yeah. That stuff's gone. It makes me sad, but that stuff is gone. Maybe I'll do the strong cave. Try to get another compound bow. Maybe that's what I'll do with my life. <sighs> <sighs> Big size. I just can't believe that happened. I cannot believe that happened to me. <laughs> well, yeah, the dungeon thing didn't work, but this did. Look. See? Stuff. <gasps> Miraculous. Strong Cave sounds fun. Yes, it does. Uh, see, this gun is not as good as my other gun, and it makes me sad. This bow is nowhere near as good as my other bows, and that makes me sad. And I lost all my metal arrows, which also makes me sad. But, you know, we keep on keeping on. And, uh, eventually we, we get through. See, I have that gun, too. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. All right, I don't, however, have another canteen, which is frustrating. Very frustrating. Uh, I need to make more canteens. Noted. I make a note in my a note in my life. You know what I can do in the meantime, though, it's a little. It's a weird way to get a beer jar, a water jar, but it works for me. Free water jar with every beer. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, now I need food. Uh, that is the major problem. I don't think I have any mushrooms. Yes, I do. <gasps> I have mushrooms. You know what? I'm not taking all of them. I'm only taking a few. I also have stimulants. Where did those come from? Those can come with me. Strong cave's not the worst. It's not the worst cave in the world. I have no shoes as well still. That is a problem. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any usable boots in here. Uh, those are boots, but they suck. You guys can't see it, but they're terrible and I hate them. These also suck. I should really throw those blueprints away. We're going in shoeless, guys. It's gonna be a thing. Alright, Elvira. Elvira, I need your expertise. You and me. We're gonna go do the strong cave. It's gonna be a thing. I got 45 stems in the vault. I saw that. Thank you. Um, putting the code in multiple times. It's not working. Patty, it only works once. They're first come, first serve, guys. So if you didn't get it, uh, you didn't get it. Moo, could you get a pony? Um, I don't have any spare ones to give away at the moment. But, yes, I regularly breed them up. If you catch me when I'm online, like if you show up at my horse breeding center... I will probably give you one when I have one to spare. Um, yeah, I can't keep them sitting around because we're a little bit uh, low on tame slots. But if you catch me before I kill them, I will happily give them to you. How can you get good blueprints in single player? Run the caves, tribute the artifacts. That is the best way to do it. <laughs> Raptors, I know, right? Now Iggy hung over. Sad day, sad day. Legendary, thank you. So much love for you as well. For a million, tame one million dodos. I don't think anybody has that much time, O'Neill. That's a lot of time taming dodos. I don't know if that'll happen. Um, not to mention that the server would die. It would just like, it would quit, it would give up. It would be like, this isn't worth living and it would just be done. 
never again to be to be used. Uh, stay. 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 Okay, we're good. I do want this, however. I need more than one gold collar. Maybe that's what I'll spend some amber on. Elvira, you need this. You also need a little meat, because it's a long walk. Let's give it, like, uh, four stacks. This should be enough to get her through. There you go. Look around when I enter the cave. I'm scared, too. Oh, Elvira has a level up. Hold up here. Speedy spider. Oh, Lord. Lag. Um, <laughs> so I've gotten into this village. Oh, Mango, I'm so sorry. If you haven't gotten in by now, you can go and redo your application. Make sure that your Discord name is current. Because if I get the Discord thing in there and it's not the current name, um, I can't add you to the server if it's not the right Discord name, right? What's this? What's this? There's a dire bear. Oh, and a chally! That's a very blue bear. Hello, Baloo. Someone should name it Baloo. That should be the name of that bear. I did find something indeed, Marge. You're not wrong. I found what people are using to go through this cave. Um, just joined. What did I miss? SD. Uh, well, I've given away a lot of codes. Um, I uh, hunted some griffins. I got ready to do a dungeon. I went in the dungeon and immediately fell into the lava and died because, you know, arc. Uh, and now we're doing the strong cave because I lost my good bow and I want to get another one. So I'm just going to run through the strong cave and see if I can't get a good bow. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I get lucky. Don't crash in the cave. Yeah, that would be not so fun. I should be okay. Fingers crossed. Don't jinx it. But I almost never crash. So really hoping. The bridges. Yeah, they're kind of nice. <laughs> uh, I do have cave building enabled and people have used those to make the cave slightly less difficult. Which, you know, I'm fine with because I totally forgot to bring a pick. I really hope... Oh, nice. I really hope that someone has put a strategically placed foundation at that one particular crystal spawn, because otherwise I will not make it through. This does not stop any spawns, by the way. Hello, Mr. Yeti. How are you today? Yeah, me too. All right. Big Worm, how's it going? Welcome. Naru, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day, guys. I love how some of the wolves are still eerie. It's good stuff. He looks so green. Okay, now yellow. The Yeti's actually look kind of cool. I dig it. No! Why? Why would you build everywhere else except here? Oh, Lord. I'm so upset. Can I, like... Yeah! No, that didn't work. I was hoping I could be very sneaky and climb up on this cliff. Because I'm a spider and I should be able to do that. And I can kind of do it a little. And get up here. And then I was hoping I could just crawl over it. <gasps> oh, 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 yes. Oh, no. Can I get back? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, mistakes. Oh, mistakes. I made a mistake. I need to know if I can get back. Oh. Oh, I'm so good at this. Spiders OP, guys. I did it. Okay. I'll be able to get back. I'm good. I'm happy. That's all I needed to know. 
No, no, I got it. I figured it out. Spiders OP. Spiders can crawl over anything. Are they done bringing creatures to mobile now? Uh, for now, yes. I don't know for always, but for now, yeah. They don't have plans to add any more creatures at this time. And that's kind of okay. The map is a little small for it. If they were to add anything, I would only want them to add, like, the Avis. And then maybe make a new map before they added any new creatures. Whee! Here we go, here we go. Look at that! We've done well. I'm so proud of us. Uh... Go. All right, my health is still doing okay. So now we go back. Deadpool, how's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic day. This spider is like amazing. I love all my spiders. I have two spiders. I have an eerie one, and then I have Elvira. <laughs> And they're both fantastic. You fly with tech armor, not on mobile, sadly. But on uh, PC, y'all. Alright, here we go. The true, the true challenge. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. Now that I know that, I never need to bring a pick again. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'll just glitch myself over it, and it'll be fine. <sighs> Maybe they should add one of the other arc maps. Uh, Tristan, if they were to add another map, I think they said that they would rather add a unique map, but they also have no plans to add more maps at this time. Uh, the dev team is pretty busy with another project, and... When they're not busy, they kind of have to prioritize fixing um, a lot of multiplayer issues that they have on official. For example, PvP is like riddled with hackers right now. So I think they're going to focus on fixing those kinds of things before we get new content, unfortunately. Or they'll do both and we'll get a little bit of new content and a lot of new hack fixes, which I think would be fine, right? Like I want the, the official servers to run well as well. I just hope we get something new for... For the PvP and... Or for the PvE and single-player people. Would be nice. Uh, no, it's a different dev team, Tristan. Uh, the people who are developing ARC 2 are Wildcard. The people who develop ARC Mobile are Grove Street. It's an entirely separate dev team. So, there's pretty much no overlap between them. Uh, Mobile is completely on its own. It has its own development schedule, and I believe there's not even a whole lot of input from Wildcard, I think, which is why it's so much better. Wildcard can't bring their nonsense ideas like missions and ruin the game. How much space do you need for Ark? I forget. Uh, quite a bit. I think at least 8 gigs. Um... At least 8 gigs of storage, and I think you need at least 3 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, look at Mars go. Wow, Charlie's kind of OP. The Yeti can't even get close. Nice. Hee <laughs> hee, I dodged. Me and my little spooter are going to scuttle our way on out of here. As we should. As is right and proper. <laughs> alright, alright. I am so proud of this little spider. They've done such good work today. Elvira is honestly the best. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that. Alright. We'll give Elvira her little collar back. Uh, we'll put this guy back on Trucker. And we'll go Tribute. And all of that was done without shoes. Good day. Alright, and we have a baby spooter. Love it. Spark code time! Uh, just about, Mariana, you're correct. It's like two more minutes, or a minute and a half or so. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, don't know if you remember me. I'm Chase Fletcher. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the new channel name. How are you? How have you been, man? It's been a long time since I've seen you, though. The your bow is going off. Please give me a good compound bow. Please. I could really use one. Well, I got a compound bow. Rude! I like how purple he is, though, and I love the top hat on him. It's so dapper. It makes it look like the boss. I wish you could put the monocle on, too. Oh. That is, that is a right proper chally right there. All right, that bow sucks. And now I'm sad. That bow was awful. It's not even worth it. Ugh. Uh, a bow is a bow, but it's... It's not a good bow. <laughs> Magus is really wanting to PvP. Magus really wants to PvP. Like, really bad. Let's go take Elvira back. Uh, how did he get the Chally in the cave? He probably raised it in there, Tristan. Uh, if you lead babies in, they kind of fit through the opening when they're very, very little. So, that's the way you can do it. <laughs> Try Genshin Impact. Uh, people have suggested that one to me, and it does look pretty interesting. Ready and right? Compound bows are amazing. The problem is, is this one sucks. I did not get a good one. <laughs> yep, exactly. Stopped using your phone for a few months. That'll happen, man. <laughs> uh, Genshin's pretty lit. Oh, you play Guardian? That's awesome. I definitely should look into it. I have it downloaded, I just haven't actually played it. It's my favorite arc ending. Honestly, Aberration. I think Aberration has the best ending, too. One of the most interesting endings, and certainly one of the ones that I was most excited for. Do, 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 do. Um, you missed my streams? Oh, thank you. Yes, now it's support code time, Mariana. <laughs> People are paying so much attention to these support codes. Oh, it's great. Here you go, guys. Uh, what was my reaction to the Gen 2 Ascension? O'Neill, I thought it was messy and it didn't stick well with the lore. It, it didn't make a lot of sense. And it kind of upset me. <laughs> Gosh, I'm harsh on the game sometimes. Look at my new ponies. I have a mint green and a butter yellow. And, uh, where's my green stripes? There he is. I'm really excited for this horse. It was an accident. This was not a planned baby, but uh, he's got bright green stripes on both the leg and the top. So once the eerie goes away, um, he's gonna look actually incredible. Stupid excited for him. He looks like a really, really cool pony. Let's do my little park job here. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All right. So the question is, guys. The question is, what next? Uh, we could do uh, the cave again, which would be an option. Um, I don't super want to try the Skylord cave today. We could try the Skylord cave and I could try to get boots because I clearly need boots. That could be a thing. We have a little time. How can my spooter be that tiny? It's a visual bug, uh, one I hope they never fix. It's a visual bug where sometimes when you pick creatures up, they, they shrink. Um, they're still usable. They're a little glitchy, but you can still... <laughs> you can ride around on them, and it's pretty great, actually. It's like riding around on a tarantula. It's, 
It's a little awkward. <laughs> but it's fantastic. I love having the tiny creature bug. Oh. Oh. Fantastic. How do you copy this on the phone? I think you can... Can you copy it? I don't even know on the phone. There's got to be a way. Um, all right, Mariana, since you have like three of them now, I am going to ask that you let someone else try to redeem the next one. Just FYI. Uh, if they add new Dinos maps to mobile, what do you think they should add? I would like to see a mobile exclusive map and I would like to see a map built. Um, interestingly, so I want to see different challenging elements than you would get on PC. I want to see maybe some weather effects uh, or... Uh, maybe just the design is a little different, like resource distribution. You have to go to certain parts of the map to get certain resources would be really cool. Um, and I would like to see wyverns. I would like to see a wyvern trench with wyverns on it. That would be really amazing. And maybe some unique creatures. I think it would be really cool to see like, uh, a sea dragon would be amazing. A sea wyvern, some sort of underwater creature. Maybe a kelpie would be cool. Um, just some unique creatures that would be unique to the mobile version and a map that would be unique to the mobile version as well. Do, 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 do. Um, go 250 dodos. That is a pursuit. I could do that, but it takes forever and I hate it. You want to see an Ark Mobile ending? O'Neill, Ark Mobile doesn't have an ending. Uh, it's in the lore. So Ark Mobile doesn't have an ending specifically because Ark Mobile uh, is stuck in a time loop. Um, time travel is kind of the foundation of the Ark Mobile lore. And essentially what's happening there is you've got the eerie element is infused with amber. And what it does when you have something that's eerie, it kind of gets stuck in a time loop where it... Um, it just loops over and over, right? So basically what's happening with that is when you have like your eerie gun, the bullet gets teleported back into the chamber. That's literally the lore for why uh, it only takes one bullet is because the bullet gets time looped. Um, stuff like that. So because there is that element of time travel built into Arc Mobile, Arc Mobile doesn't need an ending. There's nowhere to go for ascension. You're kind of stuck on this island for, you know, ever. But um, I kind of like that. I like that it has a lore. I like that it has an explanation that fits into the wider arc verse. It's kind of cool, actually. I should do a video on arc mobile lore at some point and explain how it ties into the larger arc lore picture. Um, Ruhan, hello. Thank you so much for coming by. I wish exams weren't a thing as well. All right. I might do this again. I might just run that cave again. I could look for wild equus. <laughs> I have so many. I can't really afford to tame anything else unless it's a griffin. Ooh, let's go look for more griffins. Maybe they'll respawn by now. Why not? Why not? Um. Can for memes, tame a dodo. Uh, I do have dodos. I, I feel like I don't need to tame them, but I do have dodos. I have so many, actually. We have too many. I'm almost at tame limit, guys. So taming things, I really have to be careful about what I tame. Because I have 360 out of 366 tames. And, uh, yeah, we need to do a little cleanup. Just a little. <laughs> um, Beppo, I, I don't really let people use Trucker to breed because she's a female. Uh, so it's not like it's a male where it's unlimited breeds. Um, it's kind of obnoxious to breed the female when someone else owns it. Because it's kind of difficult with how that goes. The cooldowns are frustrating sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, O'Neill. And, and instead, they tried to, they tried to tie it into the lore for Arc 2 that they are developing. The problem is, is that it's a little broken because, um, there's a whole... There's a whole storyline about Santiago dying and how much it meant in the Ark lore. And unfortunately, when they bring him back, it cheapens his death and it means nothing, right? And I don't know, it, it didn't fit 
well in their own lore. I, I almost feel like the people who wrote the original lore weren't involved in the development of the Genesis 2 ending, which could be the case, but it was really frustrating as someone who enjoys Ark to watch that and have it just be so unsatisfying of an ending, as it were. Uh, Kanish says, please give some pro tips. Um... Stay in school. Uh, lefty loosey, righty tidy. What kind of what kind of tips are you looking for? Uh, how do I have three hundred sixty six tame slots? I have a full tribe of twenty four, mostly alts, um, and we all have primal passes, so we have a lot of tame slots. Most of us have primal passes. Scientific documentary style video about Arc Mobile. Ooh, that'd be kind of fun. A documentary style video where I'd get to be all serious and use my documentary voice. <gasps> I need to watch some documentaries to develop a documentary voice first, and then I'll do it. <laughs> I could definitely do that. Uh, Mariana, nope, support code. Next support code's going to be in 11 minutes. And as I stated, please try to let someone else get one if you've already gotten more than one now. Let's see. How to level up. How to level up quickly. Uh, spawn in South 2. Do the intro pursuits. Do some note runs. Stick your head into the cave in South 2. And then note run all over the island. You will get yourself to level 40 relatively quickly that way. Um, does not take long. So I don't do it myself. There are videos out there on how to level quickly. And there's like detailed guides on how to do it. If you follow those, you'll be, you'll be right up there in no time. Okay, it looks like the griffins do not respawn that fast, which is very upsetting. Just gonna put that out there. Oh my gosh, the lag. Ugh. Game, please, don't do this to me. It makes me sad when you lag. Ark. We've already had one issue with me falling in the lava today. I really don't need this. Come on now. Come on now. This is so much less exciting than a dungeon run. Hi, come here. Oh. Come here. Come here. It's a 140. I hate you. Why couldn't you be an NA? Why do you have to be an SSA? I'm sad. Breakthrough, you got zero codes. Maybe you'll get the next one. Like I said, you do have to be pretty quick. Bring in some expert witnesses from other ARC YouTubers. Oh, Commando, that's a cool idea, too. Have their, like, characters be sitting in-game and talking. Oh, that'd be kind of neat. That- I actually have a kind of cool idea for that. That could be really cool. I think they would be willing to help me out with that as well. Uh, you heard they made an ARC Survival Evolved movie. Uh, they are making an animated series for ARK, which looks actually really good. I'm excited for the animated series. Largely because Wildcard isn't writing or directing it. Um, but it does look like it's going to be really good and interesting. It's the story of Helena, I believe. Uh, and she's got this amazing Parasaur, and now I want a Parasaur that has a Tail Whip attack. <laughs> right, Commando, exactly. With the distorted voice. Or just, it's all subtitles. Why don't I use the admin console or god console in your videos? Ash, mainly because I really hate when people come into my comments and go, Cheat! You're a cheat! You use cheats! Why can't you just play the game like a normal person? And they do that even when I don't use it, which is fantastic. Awesome. My dog is back there. Um, Alright, griffins. There are a couple of them down here. I see you. Arthedon and what's your name? Ah, uh, girl Nina, but it's a level 20. If only you were a level 140, I'd be so excited about you. <laughs> Makes the game cheap. Uh, yeah, it kind of, it does kind of make the game way easier when you use the cheat codes as well. Um, I do have a series where I use them, the Ascendant Creature series. I use cheats heavily in that series because it's kind of required. It's a sandbox series. Uh, but it does get frustrating watching people come into that 
and like get so mad at me for using cheats on a sandbox series. It's like, okay, okay, just because you don't know how to have fun. Doesn't mean you should take pot shots at me for it. All right, you of the White Wings. What terrible name and level are you? Come here, you're going to make me sad. Yep, they always make me sad. <laughs> is the animated series on Netflix? It's not out yet, so I don't know where it is. Uh, Scott, well, I couldn't bring in Flinger because Flinger doesn't play Arc Mobile. He doesn't know anything about it. Don't think he could do it. Mm -hmm. The real reason I yeeted myself into lava is to prove I'm human. Uh, but then you get people calling you noob. So it doesn't really work. Like, no matter what you do as someone who makes videos on Arc Mobile, someone's going to be mean to you about something. It's just the way it goes. That's life. That's the internet for you. It's sad and depressing that people have to be that way, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, is there another Griffin? Griffin friend? Griffin friend. I'm actually really excited, guys. I'm going to let my phone charge up after this, and I'm going to get back into recording my Brutal series. Oh, I need a good name for it, guys. It can't just be like a hundred days of hardcore Brutal arc, can it? I guess it could. What do you think? What does chat think about the name? <laughs> Magus is trying to hit me. He wants to PvP so bad. I might not today, Magus. I might not today. Not super feeling it. Uh, Morphina, you have a cool name. It's a little disturbing, but it's cool. I wish you would be good. A hundred days of death? Well, it's a hundred days of surviving is the thing. I've already lived through uh, two full days, so... The goal is to not die for a hundred days. At least. <laughs> Get a polymer seed and plant it. <laughs> How can you farm polymer? Kanish, if you need polymer, uh... Go to the icebergs and kill penguins. Honestly, it's the best way to get organic polymer. If you want hard polymer, that's a little more difficult. Um, I would go to Obsidian Mountain, which is that mountain right there that I'm looking at. That little hill. Um, tons of obsidian nodes up there. That's the best place to get them. And then just farm beaver dams for cementing paste and craft it. Arc core. Potentially. 100 days of hardcore salt. Oh, Nicole, good stuff, good stuff. True. I do get salty. I do get real salty. Yeah. <laughs> Deadpool, uh, I take my brand new Dota for you. I name it Chad with two Ds. Maybe. Maybe. I Like I said, I'm kind of out of tame slots unless there's like a really high level I guess it's just sitting in the trap uh, unless there's like a really high level griffin that's worth taming I kind of don't have plans to um, tame anything else because I have too many creatures as it is I probably need to get more food for my baby griffin luckily I can do that by killing bigger griffins I got nothing. My flight was suddenly interrupted by a tree. Did not enjoy. Alright, alright. 100 days of brutal survival. Yeah, it's difficult, right? Like, I'm kind of having a hard time coming up with a good name other than, like, I survived 100 days of hardcore brutal arc. Mobile. So I should specify that it's mobile in the title. So that people know. 
Otherwise, PC people are going to come in and be like, what is this? Why are your graphics so bad? What do you mean, dodos have a size factor? And I'll just be like, ugh, get out of my mobile gaming world. Alright. It happens, it happens. Uh... <laughs> you're back. Uh, welcome back, Parth. Hopefully your online class went well. I am still searching for the Griffins, and it's just not happening. I found a 140, and I had to kill it. And now I'll never see another one. Uh, yeah, Deadpool. The problem is, is that, um, Schwab and I's schedules don't super line up well, so it's hard to do an extended series with each other, uh, at the moment, because, like... I have a full-time job and we're on different uh, time zones and it just, it doesn't line up very well. So, plus the server that we had kept shutting down. So unless we're on a server that has more than two people, um, the server will just keep not staying on and we'll never make any progress. So it kind of sucks, but collabs with Schwab are a little bit out of reach at the moment. Maybe someday. I would like to do it again. They are super fun. We do talk. How's the iguana tonight? Kay, I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> it's been a long stream. I'm really hungry right now. Uh, but I'm doing good. I, Kay, you should watch this back. I'm going to tell you right now, you should watch the VOD of this because you're going to laugh really hard at my dungeon run attempt. A hundred days of pain. Yes, I like it. That has a nice ring to it. And let me tell you, if anyone... Whoever in chat has not tried to play Brutal, it is pain. It is nothing but pain. Particularly... No, it's going to be painful the whole way through. I'm pretty sure. It's awful because you only get XP when you kill stuff. Um, so it takes a long time to get away from level one. And it's genuinely terrifying. There are often griffs flying higher above the mountain. Uh, David, usually, but they typically spawn close to the ground and then float higher. So, um, I can check, but I haven't seen any on my, my scopes. Yeah, when I do come up, I don't see any. And when they spawn, they do spawn next to the ground. Why does Ark Mobile have one map? Because it was not easy to port the one map over from PC, and uh, it had to make certain requirements to be able to be put onto mobile in the first place. So it's not easy to add another map for Arc, right? Like, they might even have to make an entirely different app for another map. Because this is already a pretty decently sized app, and there are a lot of devices that cannot handle the game at all, so... I could see how they could have trouble adding more than one map to the game. <laughs> Favorite arc dino, Iguanodon. Mariana, I'm glad you're loving it. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. You should definitely watch it. It's going to be fun. How do you turn slow mode off? Uh, Sparkle Boy, you can't. I keep it on there for a reason. It's to prevent people from spamming. Bye, Deadpool. Thanks for hanging out. Do appreciate it. Um, it's a good question, says Ash. Um, it's not a bad question. I a lot of people do ask me that, uh, but it's I never say that it's like not a good question because people, you know, people ask, which means they're always curious uh, about it, and I am more than happy to tell people. My sound is getting fuzzy again, and I'm not thrilled with that. Capture card. Hang in there a little longer. Also, it is time for the second-to-last giveaway code, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pop that into the chat for you. Just a second here. Uh, which PC do I have? Colette, it's a custom build. Uh, the specs are somewhere. 
The specs are somewhere. It's a custom built PC. It is a little out of date now, and it's uh, it does have some trouble with the graphics card overheating, but we're working on it. Mog is just floating there, giving me hope. <sighs> Sad face. Come on, Griffins. There were like four of you that spawned in, and then none? <sighs> I'm so sad. I need more winged boys to destroy. God, I hate trees. Okay. Not actually, but they, they do get in the way. Mm -hmm. Where do you put the code? Uh, they're first come, first serve, but in-game options menu under extras on the left-hand side. Choose the option at the bottom. It'll say support codes. Type in the code there and then hit accept. Someone else may redeem it first. You have to be pretty quick to get them. Um, bye, Sparkle Boy. Thanks for hanging out. Gamathi has a go and welcome. Uh, Mariana, I really appreciate that. Thank you for giving other people the chance to get those codes. We don't have that much longer left in stream. Unfortunately. <sighs> All right. Hopefully we can do the dungeon next week as well. I'm going to, I'm going to rebuild the stuff. I'm going to rebuild up to the dungeon stuff and then see if we can't do the dungeon next week. Artifact Tribute gave you Mind Wipe. It does that. It does that sometimes. All right, I'm gonna do one more run through the Strong Cave because the Gruffins aren't spawning fast enough to keep me entertained. It's only fun if I get to kill Gruffins or tame one. So we're gonna head back over. I'm gonna grab Elvira. I'm gonna do one more Strong Cave run, see if I can replace my compound bow with something good, and then we'll uh, probably be about right for the end of the stream. And our last giveaway code, uh, UB 2015, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the channel, man. Hope you're having a great day. Ash, does someone took it? Uh, they do go pretty fast, Ash, and there usually are quite a few people attempting to grab them. So I do apologize if you didn't get it. it does happen. I can do it. Oh. Uh. Nope, I can't do it. Oh, good, I didn't fall very far. Eh. It's too far. Dang it, sometimes I can jump and get them open. I wanted to see if I could get Amber out of it. I'm sad. All right, off we go. <laughs> Should you go fight a dungeon today? Yep. What do you need to do dungeon in easy mode? Um... Two sets of decent armor, a good distance weapon, either a bow or a shotgun, and a good melee weapon, a uh, medical bruise. And that's about it, really. Uh, for the easiest dungeons, that is more than enough to get through them. I do like to bring in a lot of spare items, uh, just because if you don't know what you're expecting, it's better to bring in too much <laughs> than too little. <clears throat> Uh, what level do Griffin respect you? Kobe, it depends. Um, so there are multiple factors for getting a Griffin's respect. Number one, whether you share a name family with the Griffin. Number two, your level. And number three, whether or not you have a gold crown. So if you have the same name family as the Griffin, Griffins in that name family will respect you starting at level 40. Uh, otherwise you have to be level 85 to 95. Low level Griffin's 85, high level Griffin's 95. There you go. And then on top of that, uh, if you have a primal pass, you can get a gold crown, which lowers it to 65 to 75, I believe. So, yeah. It's a little complicated. Griffin respect is, uh, kind of a difficult subject. Typically, I just recommend that people share a family name with a Griffin, uh, so that it's easy to tame them and you can get them early game. Or earlier game. This week is Blitz Week? I don't know, Ruhan. I'm hoping it's Blitz Week. So Blitz Week was supposed to be uh, two weeks ago, right? But they gave us two remix dungeons and then didn't give us Blitz Week. They gave us two more dungeons. So I don't know if we're going to get a Blitz Week. Uh, because it's, it's all off schedule. It's out of whack. Uh, 
Yeah, we may not get a Blitz Week this week. We may get another dungeon. I would like to be Blitz Week. I like sleeping in on Tuesdays. <laughs> they took away my eighth week nap time. Um, it's fine. Thank you guys so much for blessing my sneeze. <laughs> Joni, how's it going? Thank you for loving the videos. Ah. I'm talking so much that I'm actually yawning. It's great. There we go. Um, what's Blitz Week for? Blitz Week is kind of a kind of an event. Um, so basically what happens during Blitz Week is you get Eerie Equus spawning in all of the dungeons. You get double the amount of element reward and you get half the time to run the dungeon. So you kind of have to speed through them. Typically they run the last seven dungeons, although in the past they have had the community vote on what dungeons they wanted to see in the actual Blitz Week. And we get to choose uh, certain dungeons or certain dungeons with certain loot to appear in those Blitz Weeks. So I don't know if we're going to get one. They haven't said anything about it, so fingers crossed. But um, if not, then I will be streaming on Tuesday as usual. What's my favorite flyer? Griffins by far, Nicole. They are so good. You're eating at 11.48. Yeah, Henry, I get that. I am also going to be doing that because I'm starving right now. I didn't realize how hungry I was, and I I don't even know if I have food. Oh, well. Um, What time is it for me? It is 8.50 where I am, Borky. I am on the west coast of the U.S., so my time stamp is a little different. Charlie run for Yeti takes forever. That's why I just speed run it on the spider. It's so much faster. Alright. I'm not going to be quite as quick this time because I'm not going to grab the thing. Also. That's a very nice Megalo. Speed Megalo go brrr. I like its name. <laughs> That's kind of adorable, Magus. I'm not going to lie. Munch. Don't munch me. My spider can't handle it. We're weak. We're small. Ah! Jess and me both. The spooter run through the strong cave. It's the way. <laughs> Ash, yeah, if it's that... If it's that late uh, or early, I guess, you should probably get some sleep. I... Uh, your random dog, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Got a cock clip stuck in your hair. What, like one of these? I love them. They're they're amazing. They have to be the right kind though. But they do hurt when they get stuck in your hair. Ate the last year sub just now. Oh, I'm sad, Kay. Keep Tucker followed? Why would I keep Trucker followed? Not into the cave. He'll get destroyed. Or she'll get destroyed. If it says me too, go west coast. West coast, west coast. Um, What's my favorite flyer? The griffin? Can you get a good name for your spino? Sinbad. Sinbad the spino. Our code's over. Nope, there's one more at the very end of the stream, Mariana. Uh, I do have one more giveaway code for people who stick it out all the way to the end of the stream. I know it's not everybody, but I do appreciate it when they do. Fantastic. You're here. What did you miss, Russia? Not too much. Um, I mean, I guess most of the stream. So a lot, but also not much at the same time. It's, it's the whole thing. I just need to get a little bit of stem. Better run Yeti Cave takes the fun out since it's just walking. Uh, sometimes I agree with you, but at the same time, when I'm trying to just get one blueprint or one item and I have to do it over and over and over again, this is so much faster that it's in the interest of keeping, uh, keeping things short and simple. Doo -doo. 
Um, trust me, I've done this cave the exciting way. And there's only so many times you can run it before you're like, just get me through it as fast as I can. Uh... Whee! Hey, somebody already chopped their way through. Go to dungeon with feast. Um, that is one good way to do it, yes. Not needed, but you can do it. Saves you a little weight. Now let me go through here. Today your day was the worst, Henry. What happened? I ran right into a wolf reading your comment. Oh no, you just drank coffee. Why? Who wants to stay up that late? I mean, some people, I get it, but like, ugh. Coffee after about three in the afternoon just feels wrong. Do, 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 do. Miss a lot. There's a seminar in your school. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of time wasted. I almost walked right off the edge. That would have been so bad. I might not have survived that. I would have been stuck in the water for a very long time. Hi, Yeti. You're uh, worryingly close to the artifact. Haven't seen me stream a 24 hour in a while? Yeah, I... 24 hours take a lot out of you, and uh, I tend not to do them when I have a full-time job. They're brutal. They're really difficult. I'm not even gonna lie. They are... They are rough. A 24-hour stream takes so much stamina. So much stamina. Debbie the Potato, I do remember you. How's it going? Welcome back. 1v1 COD Mobile, please. Uh, Kobe, I actually should do some more COD Mobile. I've, I've kind of been feeling it. I just need to, like, get myself to the point where I can have time to play it a little. Uh, and see if I can. Because that could be quite fun. Jaden, um, so... Yeah, no, I don't mind answering what I do. It's just kind of a complicated answer, if if that makes sense. So, technically speaking, um, I am actually a trained scientist. This is not good for me. This crystal needs to respawn. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help. Oh, help. Oh, help. Oh, I'm so stuck now. Mistakes were made! Oh, I'm officially stuck. I need this crystal broken. This big crystal right here. I am trapped in a crystal prison. Um. Okay. I'm upset. <laughs> I might die here. Oh, and it's all because I didn't have patience to wait for that crystal to respawn. Gosh dang it. And I didn't bring a pick because I'm dumb. Gosh dang it. Oh, I'm upset with life. Okay. <laughs> Tommy Carson, hello, how's it going? Kirike, yes, I am on mobile. And uh, is mobile fun? Gas, gas mask, yes, usually. Not when I get stuck in the crystals, it's not, but it's usually fun. I enjoy it quite a lot. Oh, why are they not killing me? Uh, so, when you have a cave tame creature on mobile, they have a bug where they don't take aggro from anything. I can move about two inches right here. This is the extent of my, my range of motion. If I could kill this crystal, I could get out. Good stuff. Good stuff. Eh. Eh. I'm trying real hard, but I, I literally cannot get out of this. Okay. Jess says, hang on. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> uh, I think people are coming to rescue me, Scott. You don't have to log in for it, but I know, right? This is great. I have had some bad arc luck today. I'm not going to lie. If the crystals hadn't been broken... I could have scrambled over them. It worked last time. 
But it's an arc moment. We're having it. Uh, you know what I do need to do, though? Ooh. I don't know if I live. I don't know if I survive this. Just health-wise. Ooh. I think someone's on their way. I hope. I am slowly freezing to death, and it's quite sad. Elvira will still be alive, but I'll have to come in and, like, untrap her from the crystal, which is going to be not fun. Um, can you use your web like Spider-Man? Uh, they don't work that way, unfortunately. <laughs> what world am I playing? We're playing on Toast Village. So luckily there's other people on the server who might be able to come and get me out of here. Eh. Oh, I hear... I hear the noise. Hey, Someone's come to rescue me. Someone has come to rescue me. I'm like right here in this little corner. They've got to beat up all the stuff first. Oh. Eh, I'm so stuck. <laughs> Just about to drop stream and jump in the game. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Oh no. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you. Don't die. Kill the Yetis. Kill the Yetis, Mars. You can do it. I'll slow them all down for you. I'll do what I can. I'm trying to help. I'm also about to lose my uh, health though. Mars has rescued me. Mars is a hero. Chally in a cave. Yeah, you can uh, you can raise Chally's in caves, and as long as you keep them in there, um, they survive. Not on single player. On single player, they teleport out. <gasps> ah! Magus, why? Ah! you'll be fine i'm going i'm going i just gotta get to where it's not freezing there we go nope never mind that was short-lived actually i can do this it won't help much but it'll help a little i need stamina hello jess everyone came to rescue me i feel so loved ah uh, now we're not freezing it's good I'm free! Iguana is free! <laughs> That's honestly what it feels like. You, can, you don't even know. Is the last code soon? Yes, the last code will be at the end of the stream here in just a minute. Uh, once I get out of this cave, um, we'll go ahead and drop the last code for you guys. Just want to make sure I survive this. Because it's a little iffy. I think we'll be fine. I think I have enough health to be okay. Um, how you can defeat the monkey boss easily if you use tech shielded element. Uh, Kanishk, that doesn't surprise me. Oh my goodness, Windows, please. Giving me notifications and stuff. Am I gonna sing? Uh, if you would like me to, I suppose I can. Usually people request it, and usually I end up complying. Uh, Taneka has it going. Hello, hello. Bye, Rosha. Thanks so much for hanging out. Do appreciate it. <laughs> um, please sing. You have a very pretty voice, you think? Oh, thank you. I can do that. 
I went straight into the water. I'm paying very much attention to the game right now. Oh. It's no wonder I almost died. <sighs> Gonna raise drivers in the cave, but they, will they teleport? Uh, Rage God, if you are in single player, they will teleport out. If you're in multiplayer, they stay in the cave. That's kind of how that works. Particularly if you allow cave building, um, it's pretty easy to raise creatures in the cave and keep them in there and keep them safe by just building them a little hut and then they're they're good to go. I keep getting stuck. Hey. Oh, the lag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Wedzus. Much thanks. Oh, we live. Oh, it's a beautiful moment. I'm so grateful. Everyone has, like, worked together to, to keep me alive, and it's been actually amazing. Oh, look at that. Got med brews. I feel so alive. It feels so good. Tiny spooter. Baby spooter. Uh, Kanish, you're a new subscriber. Thank you so much for subbing, man. I super appreciate it. You've not been chosen for three or four months. Uh, Vigo, make sure that you have, uh, if you've changed your Discord username at all, please make sure that you update it on the sheet. Like, just fill out another application, right? I removed duplicates, so you'd be fine. Um, that could be the reason. Like, a lot of people have applied and then changed their names, and I'm not sure if it's them anymore, so I don't add them. And also, make sure you're a member of my Discord server. If you're not a member of my Discord server, I can't add you. Haneka, I do remember you. Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. All right. Well, I didn't get a compound bow. I got a lot of blueprints. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. All that. Wow. Okay, game. These must be stonking good Ascendant scuba goggles. No. They're not even that good. I'm upset. I'm actually a little mad about that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and drop the last giveaway code for you. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there through the whole stream. I super appreciate all of you. Um, hopefully you guys have had a fantastic time. I've had a lot of fun today. And hopefully you're all looking forward to the new series. Because I'm having a lot of fun making it so far. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. I need to... I'm having so much lag. Alright, I'm gonna go land on my little, uh... I'm gonna go to the iceberg and chill over there. And then we'll, uh, we'll end off from there. But that is the last code, so I know we're probably gonna lose people. <laughs> Pump action shotgun is best. Change your mind. Uh, T-Lin, no, you're correct. I agree. But not when it's Apprentice and only does 71 damage. Not so great, then. Uh, we'll do Scott, of course. K says, wait, new series? Yes, K. I have a new series in the work for Arc Mobile. Uh, it's a hardcore, brutal survival series. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to do, like, 100 days of hardcore arc basically but on mobile and also the difficulty needs to be brutal where you can only get xp from killing dinos because that makes it even harder why not um and i've actually been having a lot of fun i i recorded for a few hours today and it's been it's been good so i think it's going to be a good a good time if i can edit it right it's going to be a lot of intensive editing but i'm going to do my best so bear with me it may take a while to get the actual series out but i'll try um, yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, <laughs> no code sold stream. I'm so sorry, Borky Poo. I'm so sorry. Uh, when's my next live? If it's not Blitz Week, it will be Tuesday. If there is Blitz Week, it will be next Sunday for sure. Not sure what's going to go uh, in between there, but hopefully something. I don't like to go a full week without content. All right, there we go. Perfect. Um... gonna mute my own desktop so I don't have to hear it. I deserve more subs. Thank you, Kanish. I really appreciate that. Uh, little spider. I know. A tiny, tiny one. 
Henry, yeah, the the last code. Like I said, the codes are first come, first serve. So if you didn't get it, uh, that means somebody else did. And unfortunately, I am now out of codes, so I can't give any more to people. But uh, we did have 10 that we gave away, so I know at least a few people did get stuff, which was great. Um, how do you get the color change? Abigail, those are eerie creatures. You basically need to... Um, basically, what you want to do if you're going to get an eerie creature... Is either tame them when the uh, eerie events are on, or revive them from a dungeon, or use the tech kibble processor to create them. It's a little tricky. Jess, thank you so, so much for the super chat. You are amazing. Elvira is definitely the best tiny spider friend. And uh, thank you so much for looking forward to the new uh, series. I'm super excited to bring it to you. Hopefully, it comes out really well. Um, and thank you, Jess. I really appreciate you guys coming to break me out of there. I was, I was very stuck. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, the stream is going to go ahead and end here, guys, because it's that time. Uh, Axiom, thank you so much for subbing. So for everyone who doesn't want to hear singing, now is the time to exit the stream. Just as an FYI, uh, I always like to give people warning because some people don't like to hear it. Um, please remember to hit the like button on your way out and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, guys. And for everyone who does want to sing, hang out for like 10 more seconds. Next vid, can you play Call of Duty, please? Um, I'll look into it, you know? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I'm trying to have more fun with the content that I make anyway, which is why I'm doing such a weird series. So hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> How do you change into different single player saves? Manage save data, Mariana, from the play arc menu. So if you hit play arc, Hit manage save data. You can back up your current game, delete your current game, whatever you want to do to it. That's how you manage them. MMORPGs, please. New World is coming out in September, and I do want to play that. So maybe. But those tend to be very grindy. So I don't know. We'll see. I could do something fun with that, though, probably. All right, guys. Here we go. Um... I normally sing the cup song, but today I think I'm going to sing All Star. I think so. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets mopped, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. It's a cool place, and they say it gets colder. You're bundled up now, wait till you get older. But the medium men beg to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. My world's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it, and I'll never get bored. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. Somebody once asked, could I spare some change for gas? I need to get myself away from this place. I said, yep, what a concept. I could use a little fuel myself, and we could all use a little change. Well, the years start coming, and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules, and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid. 
All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I like that song. It's a fun one. <laughs> Henry, I know that song so well because I love that song so much that I actually sing it to myself rather often. <laughs> When I'm doing things around the house, I sing. Um, do I play Rust, Zachary? No, actually. I've looked into Rust, and I, I am having a little trouble finding the right one, the one that I think people are actually playing. Uh, and I'm not... I, I need to do a little more research on it and then see if I can, because I'm kind of curious to try it. Um, all right, guys. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out and watching. I super appreciate all of you. It has been a super fun stream. So, guys... Please remember to hit the like button on your way out because it seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, guys, you can, of course, subscribe. I will go ahead and catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.